talking about flashing lights, baby. Flashing lights everywhere. Niggas was saying shit about me. They didn't even fucking know me. This is my story. This is what I was doing with what nobody blew. Y'all don't know what goes on in practice or the locker room. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> As you see, we got the set decked out. This is a special simping episode of the arena. Simping. It is Valentine's Day. Sorry we took so long to start. We were talking about video games. <laughs> you know how that goes. How y'all doing? Y'all all festive and dressed yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. I see y'all got the memo. Mm, I was going to wear blue. <laughs> But the, but the work confirmed last That's minute. A, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to dinner tonight. We're going to dinner tonight. We're going to dinner tonight. <laughs> so where we at, dear? Fuck it. Applebee's. Nah, hey, bro, not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. You got to too good for Applebee's on Oh, you got to take it all the way. Yeah, you got to yeah. go all the way. Yeah, oh, you got to go all the way. Yeah. yeah. got to make sure. We Dessert back, and everything. I'll back chili. Yeah. <laughs> massage the whole nine. Because <laughs> tonight. <laughs> <laughs> This is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. As always, we got the legend Gilbert Arenas here with us. What's happening? That pink salmon with it? Pink salmon, fuchsia. Okay. Mm. You know, just try to... I realize, man, they don't... At the mall, they don't really have things for Valentine's for men. Mm-mm. So. Mm-mm. Men, period, shit. Six, especially six fold. Yeah, huh? I was like, red. I'm like, red, pink. I'm trying to sit there, and I got to go through every department store to get some shit that looked like it came from the 60s. <laughs> this shirt look like <laughs> like I'm on that 60s show or that 70s show. Yeah, like, come yeah. on, the decade, man. not the rolling, not the rolling. <laughs> it, they, there was a memo to wear red, but due to fam, due to familial obligations, I, I am not allowed to wear that color. Uh, we got Rashad McCann back here with us as well. Y'all know how I had to go. Work Hold related. Up. It's all work. We supposed to have <laughs> one more person on the couch. I see the setup. Where is Lexi at? Hmm. Lexi. Yoo-hoo. I'm here, guys. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh-oh. I'm still bearing gifts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Since y'all don't ever get nothing for Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, thank you. I brought you little roses. Oh, thank you. Mm. I was going to make braces, but I didn't have time. These are functional. Are you busy? Oh, we, we, um, we appreciate it. I don't have this... a Valentine, so Uh-oh. I decided Mm-mm. to just share the love. Well, there are several gentlemen in the chat already asking for your cash app. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you would like one, Lexi Cash App is uh, no chill gill. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody in that chat can afford nothing but Applebee's, so they better stop. And nah, they got to team it up. You crazy? They better you know, stop. If you, why are you not going to Applebee's, Sean? Because <laughs> it's just a different type of holiday. <laughs> go against everything. It's a no. It's a no blue type of holiday. You going oh, against damn, everything? You know, you yeah. Right this now. is this is the drop drop. You know, drop the bag on this. Drop the bag on. Let's drop a bag day. Yeah. Is it no blue? You know or no I'm not going. Not just a not just a Thursday. A regular oh Thursday. Gosh. We're going to have a. It's just a regular Wednesday to me. <laughs> okay, for some. Well, happy Valentine's Day to all who celebrate. Uh, you and your significant others. We wish y'all well. But here's what's cracking in the arena today. Uh, Draymond clapped back at Nurk and KD, but is there no love lost between the former Warriors teammates? Uh, the Thunder are a game out of first in the West, but are they for real or fugazi? And the Warriors tried to make a blockbuster trade for LeBron to give Steph more help, but LeBron said no thanks. Mm. <laughs> but before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. It is Valentine's Day. Surprise your significant other by downloading the app using promo code GILL. <laughs> And then we'll match your first deposit up to $100. That is a free $100 you can get as a deposit match by downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. And remember, use promo code GILL for boo, work, main side, whoever it may be. They will appreciate you. They will love you even more. And they can get them pick going and stack some bread. As always, we do mostly fans at the end of every show. 
You drop a good question in the chat with your underdog fantasy username, we use that question on the show, we will give you a $50 bonus. If you send us an email to mostlyfansgill uh, at gmail.com with a video, keep it under 30 seconds with your underdog fantasy username, we use that on the show, we will give you a $100 bonus. You can stack more bread by asking more questions. That is the hustle in this day and age to get your bread right so you can take care of your Valentine. And again, if you can't watch the show live with us on YouTube, we have audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. So as we mentioned, it's Valentine's Day. So let's talk about what love got to do with it. Uh, Valentine's Day goes back nearly 2,000 years <laughs> when a dude named Valentine out there trying to preach the good word was martyred by Roman pagans mm. on February 14th, 269. Has nothing to do with love. Yeah, he was trying to, trying to spread the word. They were not feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> Holler Killed back. Killed him? Just him. Holler Damn. back. The skull allegedly somewhere in Rome in one of them chapels or something right now. But when did the little naked babies come into play? <laughs> so, yeah. Glad this turned into, see, this is what women do, right? <laughs> glad they that tur you turned a man getting killed into their holiday. Ain't this some shit? Love me. <laughs> did a woman start it? So, glad that you asked, Lexi. Uh, the modern tradition of expressing love didn't come about until the 14th century when a man, an English poet, gentrified the holiday to make it a designated day for simping and giving affection to loved ones. Damn. So. It wasn't us. It was y'all. Writing love notes, letting people know what it he is. Trying to get, he was, okay, he was trying to get something. No, somebody yeah. stole, somebody yeah. showed some thighs. Some, yeah. <laughs> some thigh. <laughs> somebody showed An some ankle. thighs. Niggas went crazy. An Niggas were like, what? Is that a thigh? <laughs> oh, shit. So today is the day of love. So got to ask the couch, do you celebrate Valentine's Day or is it just another day for you? Lexi, you... Um. I enjoy Valentine's Day because I like the colors and festive, but no, it's just regular. I feel like if you're with the right person every day, it should feel like Valentine's Day. See, that's my sentiments as well. Yeah. Rashad, do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go be mindful. It God, is a day of what? love. Go ahead. No, no, no. no, no, no question. No, no, I'm just saying, like, I don't think she got the memo. <laughs> of what? You know, Valentine's might not be your day. Side chick day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know I, what I, mean? I don't... No, I don't, I'm just saying, you no, know, the 15th no. might be your day. That you no. just probably ain't got... Side boo, side boo Valentine's one. Day is February 15th. The 15th. The yeah, main, no, the main girl got to get the 14th. Uh-huh. The other ones can get the 13th and the 15th. I know. So what's up with you today? I don't have anything. Any Ooh. of the days. You can't be putting yourself in the category. <laughs> See, he's trapping you. He's trapping you. I don't you. have any days because I don't got anybody. Uh, hey, it's fellas. Me. Hey, listen, just, listen, listen. It's just me and Cannon, okay? Fellas. That's a good Valentine. Everybody, listen. Cannon's a cool, cool. Candy cool. is half off starting tomorrow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <That's what. laughs> half off. Teddy bears, everything half off. So side chick. Day tomorrow, you get to give more for your bucks. Side chick day uh, is insane. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> but I, ce I celebrate. I celebrate. I celebrate all three. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, the thirteenth, the fourteenth, and the fifteenth. Yeah. So you're being very loud on the couch. What's the thirteenth? Also, side chick day. Huh? That's new, that's that's new side chick. New. That's the new, 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 new work. New, new that's work. new work. <laughs> you know what I mean, like you're trying to still impress them, so you want to give it to them early. Oh man. They're like, oh my god, I got a sword. This nigga's yeah. a genius. This nigga's a genius. He's deserving awards. This is mad. You invented thirty-five dollar apes. You invented <laughs> new side boo. New side. <laughs> new side. <laughs> a man. A man of the people. Oh shit. Lexi, the producer wanted me to let you know. You said said you were booed up because now we're gonna get an influx of mostly fan videos mm -hmm. with dudes. Done. Explain their love for you. Mm -hmm. you That's, can find me in That's the what gym, she wanted. Guys. That's what she wanted. No Lexi needs a rebounder. Yeah, she hey. needs a rebounder. Day show. And I'm going to be out That's of LA it. in a few days, so. Day bye show. Bye bye. Day show for Lexi. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the love of Lexi. Yeah. For the love, <laughs> the love of Lexi. <laughs> I'm no, telling you, it's just a hit, Lex. They no. gonna show it to the game and everything. We love Lex. Ideas are already churning. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Do you think Gil won't show up to a Sparks game with like 20, <laughs> 20 eligible bachelors? For sure. <laughs> no, that would be funny. Is that like who can make the best sign? Yeah. Who can come out decked out in the most Sparks gear? Oh, I'm with that. See? There you go. See, they're going to buy extra tickets. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> who can bring the most people with them? Mm hmm. So, yeah, we already have a, a dude with the username Lexi's husband. Uh, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that is sent a request for your love, uh, so we're already getting it started. Rashad, do you celebrate Valentine's Day or is it just another day for you? I think you answered that before we got into this. I see you decked out. I mean, Gil kind of put it in perspective. <laughs> I, I hadn't had that kind of clarity, 
before one, two, three. And uh, it's, for me, it's new work, current work, and old work, mm -hmm. you know. And I never really had to celebrate it because it was all grouped up. You know what I'm saying? You just send out the text messages all collectively. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just make sure the roses are sent out appropriately to the right address <laughs> with the right name on them. Sometimes they fuck up the delivery. You're very confusing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, Susan get it, and it, it, it was for Amy. You know what I'm saying? Them white ass names. <laughs> you, yeah. Susan and Amy. And Karen. <laughs> and Karen. <laughs> and Karen. And Karen. Do, do Ling Ling? Does Ling Ling get? Yeah. Ling, what no, about no, no. Ling Ling, man. Ling Ling gets the nine o'clock service. We go to Ling Ling at nine. <laughs> she gets the everyday service. That's a that's a guarantee. So, well, since it is Valentine's Day, important question to ask: uh, What's the appropriate grace period before going public with a relationship? Like, how much time do you need to be dating somebody mm -hmm. before you make that official announcement? Like. Mm, on the internet? On the, never. On Al Gore's oh. internet? <laughs> never. Why do you say never, like? The important people will see us together, and those are the only people that really should know. Mm. Okay. Mm, interesting. Should I do agree, disagree? Never? Um, <clears throat> what there's some day? savages out there. There are. <laughs> like Gil's a savage. <laughs> he was like, oh, that's your word. Oh, that's your work? No. Oh, no. I'm about to go right into that DM. No. Let, me test the love. Let me test your love for this nigga. <laughs> Let me make sure you love my boy the right <laughs> way. Yeah, she's uh, over here yesterday. Sure you, <laughs> she's over here yesterday. Let me make sure you white material. <laughs> That's so a no. horrible. So, so no. Yes, never. <laughs> Golly. Oh, that's brotherhood. That's brotherhood. That's brotherhood. Got to make sure you ain't wet no scallywag. Man, no uh, wife for now. Come on. Man of the people. This is going to be a good day on Gil's Arena presented by Underdog <laughs> Fans. I can already tell. Uh, Gil, what's the appropriate grace period before going public with a relationship? Do you want the relationship to last? There's a there's difference. I mean, you can go on there and, and do it whenever you want, but lasting? Yeah, you're going to have to... No, keep your personal life off the internet, right? The internet is for, you know, entertainers and trolls, mm -hmm. right? If you, if you on the internet taking that shit serious, something wrong with you. <laughs> for sure. Right, so if you sitting there going, why you don't, why you don't, you know, post me? Because I actually liked you, I ain't, <laughs> I actually liked you, but <laughs> shit, I post you cool. For sure. <laughs> shit, I post you right now, mm -hmm. shit. Let them see your little ugly ass face and then all the DMs about to hit. That's what you with? That's who you picked over me? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Comment, just, yeah, <laughs> then she starts stalking on, you. People are mean online and miserable. Very, so. yeah, it's very disrespectful. But I mean, I feel like the way I feel about people who post their relationships, they either, they're trying to like make somebody upset somewhere and it doesn't really have much Validation, to do with Validation, likes. Yeah, and I'm like, for what? Like, should we doing the right? I think, I think sometimes when girls, they want you to post them to see if any negativity comes back. Shh. No, it will. For sure. <laughs> sure. Negativity. Always, yeah, yeah, people are miserable. You're going to see how cute yeah. you not. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Man, Protect this is who you peace. picked? Yeah, what? Protect your peace. So I'll be looking at some of my, I'll be posting something, I'll be sit, looking at some of the comments, like, ooh, you bold. <laughs> you bold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then they start stalking, mm -hmm. hitting each other up. And they become friends, going out to dinner, taking selfies and shit together. Yeah. Yeah. It's traumatic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was like, it sounds like a personal story. Yeah, happened many times. <laughs> Fucking yeah. hinge dates. And yeah, you did can that, hear all about it I did some, my, my, the workshop. My exes did that. They, I mean, uh, like, friend each other and try to, like, I, I'm stupid. Well, shit, two for one. <laughs> two for one. <laughs> Y'all both are miserable. Come on over here. I got oh. something for you. I got something in common any goddamn way. I had them both in the same house <laughs> on my birthday. Flew them both out. Ooh, there we yeah. go. They just didn't want to get to bed together. So. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And proceeding. Uh, what gift should a pro hooper expect for Valentine's Day? What gift? Oh, the same thing that um, um, the regular men get. Shit. Nothing but the same old thing we're going to get just in better lingerie. Oh That's it. Great conversation. It's some, okay, I got it. Great conversation. I agree. Yeah. That's it. That's, That's all we going to all we going to get, fellas. Like what is your expectation <laughs> when you are when you are entangled or in a relationship for, for a Valentine's um, Day gift? I would like like a spa day or something or like a okay. massage. Okay. Perk Williams. It don't matter. Okay. You know, I've been I'm in like mid off season, preseason mode, so like a nice little massage or something would be nice. That's fair. 
So we have a, uh, a audience question. Person. We have an audience question on the subject of Valentine's Day. What's the most awkward date you've been on? We can't hear you. What's the most awkward most date, awkward date you've been on? Be nice. Oh, we can't hear her. <laughs> I'm sorry, we couldn't hear her. Um, I haven't been on any awkward dates, honestly. You never had an awkward date? No. Yeah, I did. I also don't go on many dates either, so there's that. We're shot with most awkward date on this glorious gym, Valentine's Day. Okay. In the gym. I don't want to say her name because she's... Don't say names, please. She's pregnant and with somebody right now, but it was her and her mama showed up to the date. <laughs> I didn't know which one I was going to take down. Ooh, never had that problem, but that's a nice little problem right there. Yeah, it was unfortunate. But congratulations on your... Pregnancy and marriage. <laughs> uh, Mr. Arenas, Day I've been I think I have a feeling. Uh, I, I think we all were privy to at least one of your awkward dates. But what's the most awkward date you've been on? Usually the awkward part of it is me. Uh, uh, because, <laughs> I mean, because it's me trying to figure out how to uh, offend her and see how far she's going to go. Mm -hmm. um, because in my, in my world, I feel like I do the opposite of what they are expecting to see if they can handle it. Yes. Right? That's my nigga right here. So, so I'm the one, that, I'm the yes. one that's going to be so on the phone. I'm going to be on the one on the phone talking to another girl. And, you know, yeah, I'm that one. I do that's that. That's rude. Yeah, I know. That's, so I, I actually was, um, I did, it, it went viral where I was uh, on a blind date talking about the girl in front of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> talking about her outfit and... Oh no, she was no no no. The outfit was trash. She Queen of Zamunda, I believe, was. Yeah. Whoa, she was smoking. I ain't what, gonna what lie. Is this, what is this video? No, it was, no, it was, it was Twitter, live Twitter back oh. then. I was yeah. live twittering, yeah, <clears throat> talking about you know the outfit. Oh, you were on a date and you were on Twitter yes. tweeting about her. Yes. Mm -hmm. To finish though, how she found out? She found out. I, she went to the restroom. I guess her friend. Good so, for her friend. You think that stopped her from? <laughs> <laughs> you think that stopped her? She, she got mad and all that, yeah. Mm -hmm. dumb, dumb. But reality did kick in. It's Gilbert. That is Gilbert. <laughs> so she didn't leave? Leave. You dumb dummy. Mm -hmm. no. I would have been out of there. Leave. How long? No. Leave. What was your contract? What's the biggest contract you signed? I was on 111. They was I'll be, no, you're not leaving. You're not leaving. I had a little I'll, leverage. I, I'll be out of there. I had a little leverage. I had about like, like a... 10 years of stuff like that, you know what I mean? You know, we only get dumped after our careers over with. Yeah. <laughs> soon as yeah, soon as that contract ended, it's the last game, law, oh, farewell, come home, divorce papers. Like, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wasn't Time's expecting up. this. <laughs> Time's up. Time's up, goddammit. How you treated me is the payback I won't have. Bro. Here's a direct quote from Gil uh, from that blind day. OMG, I thought she was the queen of Zamunda. Uh, Zamunda in all caps. Damn. So, Her outfit was that bad? <laughs> it was like leopard print, striped down. Uh, real Africanish. <laughs> real Africanish. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Put like this. She didn't look like how she, like, if she had the mask on and we seen the outfit, oh, canceled. Canceled. You'd be like, oh, we, ooh. Jesus. So, uh, let's keep it moving. Huh? <laughs> White lady, oh white lady wearing the moon and stuff. <laughs> Come on, man. No, she was, she was black. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> this Valentine's Day might be down two participants. Uh, according to People Magazine, 49-year-old Larsa Pippen and 33-year-old Marcus Jordan, Jordan broke up during Wait, Super Bowl. Did you Bowl. say 33? 30, 49-year-old Larsa Pippen and 33-year-old Marcus Jordan uh, broke up during Super Bowl weekend. Mm -hmm. According to People Mag, they have decided to take some time apart to reevaluate their relationship. This has nothing to do with any family input, but solely for their personal growth. Uh, so before the split, the couple was talking about marriage with MJ being designated as the preferred best man at the wedding. Uh, naturally, when this news broke, the internet did its thing. Uh, shout out to Vic. <laughs> She's gonna be an all-star weekend with a spreadsheet. Yeah, Vic, my girl. Oh, hold on, <laughs> that's a girl? Vic? Count on Vic. Yeah, yeah, that's her profile picture. Uh, so, uh, that's wrong, dear, because she is 49. Who are you talking about? L Larson is 49. She's not going to be at All-Star Week. Grandma's not going to be at All-Star Weekend. She's going to be at the Time Joiner uh, 
fantastic voyage no. trip. And that sold out this year mm -hmm. for 2024. Mm -hmm. Her ass got to stop for 2025. That's the age group she in. Mm -hmm. Nobody looking for no 49 mm -mm. Wombat. Except for me. Wombat? For she going to be at the club with her kids? What? <laughs> he don't get your hot ass out here, Ma Dukes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he might be there. Mm -hmm. Ma Dukes, come on, man. Why mm -hmm. do what? What time do you have? You, it, no. you are forty nine. Whatever you trying to reconsider, trust me. By the time you finish, you're gonna be fifty, right? He's thirty three. He's done, right? He's done. There's he. Ooh, he. Hey, listen. They was talking to Stella you. got her groove. Back when <laughs> by doing by doing the electric slides, you feel me? I'm an electric slide. All me and Future been been plotting how to get to Mrs. Pippin. <laughs> that, that listen, I just got the chick in my Gucci flip flop. That's it. She about to just be smashed. All all year. she's 49. Ain't nothing. There's no wife here. Deal. Never say her never. wife years was 23. To 47. That was her wife years. She wanted out. She's single. Ain't no 33-year-old. What, what, what? He want kids. Mm -mm. You are a kid free. You done. You ready to mingle and tingle. These are these are work <laughs> years. See, she had wife years. Now she in her work years. Yeah, she in her work years. This is work stage. <laughs> you know, right? She's what's entering after, the workforce. What's after, what's after work stage? Retirement? Re retire. Retirement. You got to retire. She ain't worked yet. She never worked. Mm. She ready to work. You don't think that that was work? Mm. She, yeah, she that tried. Was she was trying to work. She was trying. But, they uh, just but, was talking too much publicly. Like huh? We was just talking she about it. To me? Yeah. yeah, they was talking too much. Yeah. Well, I know we want to hear from y'all too. Keep Wait. it on the down low. <laughs> well, this is a basketball show. <laughs> and she's basketball. And she bring, playing. The moment they brought MJ into it, she's all basketball. Too much. She's doing, doing too much. much. You're doing too much. Yeah. Like that was weird. It really was. Basketball, you know, Malik, they all was starting to, Malik Beasley. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, shit, Trinston. I forgot about that. Yeah, Tristan. Yeah, that's it. She's balls, balls. Damn. Damn. Uh, <laughs> it's this over. Is, this is Gills Arena, so this is what you've come to expect by watching the show. Let it go. I'm just saying. Let's, but this should go out to all them old thotty bodies out there. All y'all little thotty bodies. Oh, my God. It's over. <laughs> it's over for y'all. Just let it go, okay? Never say Just never. retire. Y'all should have stayed with the dudes that was treating y'all like shit then. These 25, 27-year-olds, they don't want you. They're going to they gonna do you because your name and you got Pippin in the back, whatever. They're not wifing y'all. But listen, right? listen. 33, that was the, the, the 33. Oh, my God, that's still ill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But when, I'm almost 40. I got time today. I'm, I'm, look, I'm 42, and 33, I'm like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the expectations are still too high. Right? 30, 33, he wants kids. You... You ain't trying to be no mother. Mm. You ain't even a mother now. Damn. And oh, let's I move on it. to legitimate <laughs> basketball topics. Uh, Damn. I mean, I look, that was Damn, legitimate. Damn, Gills. Yeah. She's going to be at the, watch. She's going to be at the Laker game. She's going to be at the Laker game about to get Austin Reed. <laughs> Austin. Man. Let me daddy. Do not do it. Let me daddy. <laughs> she had, listen, she Austin Reeves. Or the owner. That's it. Those are the two options. Damn. <laughs> Damn bird. Shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> moving on. Uh, the owner. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Nobody is better <laughs> at being Draymond Green than Draymond Green. Uh, during a recent episode of his podcast, Green reflected on his 16-game suspension for slapping Nurk, their recent rematch. Uh, what he told KD after the Warriors win on Monday and his feelings about Nurk and Durant saying he hopes Dre gets the help he needs. I think all of it is cowardly. I think, you know, you start going to question somebody's character in front of the whole world, it's whack. So I think they all whack, both of them, if you want my honest opinion. Um, but that's that. Uh, everybody was questioning what I said to KD um, at the end of the game. This is me. It's me. And... um. I'm not going to share the other word that I said because, you know, that's a spur of the moment type of thing. You're in the game and, um, you know, words come out, but this is me. I do this. Been doing this. Going to keep doing this, which is the same thing I said in that Clippers game years ago. Been winning championships. Been doing this. Going to keep doing this when you leave here. Didn't lie. Got fined the whole game check, which was like $160,000 for saying that. Fast forward, wasn't a lie, you know, but 
<clears throat> that's what I said, you know. And all of that was a little brewed up, a little, little built up tension because, again, you go question somebody's character, you got my phone number. If you thought I hope I get the help that I need, you got my phone number, hit me and say that. So like I said, I thought it was all cowardly. And that's where those emotions came from. I, I, I'm a four-time NBA champion. No regular season game really gets me that, like, hype to win a regular season game. But it's a little added tension there. God bless Player Podcast. Uh, Nurk responded with the following tweet. He said, all good, bad boy. Just don't stay too long on podcast. Going to be late for therapy session. Damn. <laughs> it's a bar. His tweet <laughs> with his beef. accent makes me laugh. <laughs> How you tweet with an accent? That's crazy, right? <laughs> Damn. Bro. Right, that, right in his accent. <laughs> so, so how are we feeling about this situation? Because I feel like Draymond does make some valid points. Mm. I'm just, I'm happy he flexes his championships. He's never really done that before, so it's nice to see him doing that because he deserves to. Because everyone else gets to flex their championships, why can't he? I have a question. Um, did Will Smith get? Criticized in front of the world after he slapped Chris Rock? Yes, he did. Mm. Slapping the shit out of Chris Rock at the Oscars. Mm. Okay. So it's warranted, right? When you do some st stupid shit in front of the world, yeah. your character is on display, mm. right? It's normal, right? It's normal. But then you're telling KD that we don't need you, we can win without you. That was before the slap. I understand. Mm -hmm. But it's a part of the history mm -hmm. of KD feeling the way he feel. You need some help, bro. So it's just kind of like, it's ironic that he feels some type of way about people pointing out the things that the world has seen over and over again. I, I feel bad for the guy that he doesn't take accountability for his actions. It's unfortunate. I was with Nurkic when he got slapped, <laughs> right? Because he was a victim. Then, right? He was a victim to Draymond Green. I can't say he's a victim now, right? He, he, he sounds like an agitator. Absolutely. Right? So now, if Draymond slaps you now, Good. I'm pretty sure no one's going to give a fuck at this point. All right. You got to fight back. Because at this point, you are doing everything in your power to get him to slap to you. To get again. him to slap you. Yeah. Right? That's what's at the front. Do you want to get hit again? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, Yo, you're slapping the floor, you're doing all this, you're saying he need therapy, I take shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like that that's one thing Chris Rock didn't do. Yeah. Chris Rock didn't go around <laughs> aggravating and trying to pretend like you sound like you a tough guy too. Right. At this point. So mm -hmm. now it's just like, well, if Draymond hit him again, we don't really care. It is what it is, right? And that's that's the feeling I'm getting, like. Like even in a slap it in the floor, I'm like, eh, okay, all right, you little, you little there, mm -hmm. slap him on the booty. But then after the game, we just watch what you did, and then you go to the game and be a victim. Oh, he should he? Why is he still here? He shouldn't. He, the brother ain't learned it. I feel sorry for him. You the one out there. You the one out there now, like being the aggressor. Yeah. And that's the only thing I don't like in this situation. You know, KD, you know, he gonna catch a stray anyway. Yeah. Right? You know, that's just... Um, Is that new tension, though? No. Nah. Wasn't they just sitting together at the fucking... At, that's, the, at, at the Olympic shit? That's basketball tension. That's just on-court tension. Just like KD and Russ, right? It's just... It, that's that on-court, you know, that battle meant that they just can't get rid of. But that sounded like a shot at KD. Like, coward. You call me... You calling me a coward where you could have... Text me the way you felt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you said the shit you said. Well, didn't he say that initially when he was like, I didn't appreciate when KD said I needed to do this. But then he was like, but once I thought about it, he like, that means he like was, he was caring about me. So I'm like, what, what changed? Exactly. Like Some kind um, of tension changed. Yeah. That's, that's bad, that's bad, you know. It's, it's that hoop. It's heat that in the moment. That heat in the moment hooper yeah. spirit, man. My question is this. If KD actually catches the ball... And scores that basket, does that change Draymond's energy? Because he got that stop. Yeah. Against Phoenix, right? I mean, That's I mean yeah, he oh, can't no. run his if mouth KD like that. If KD hits it, it might be the reverse. Yeah. 
You, think you know who I am. You, think Katie you know who I am. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> it just, it just right, so he just he got he got lucky there because, yeah. you know, I feel like getting that stop for Draymond made sense for the energy. Yeah. Like, yeah, fuck, yeah. fuck that. Yeah. I'm yeah. me, nigga. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I got, I got the stop on. And Nurk didn't have a good game either. Right. And then Draymond had a pretty good game. That's what I said. Really it's like game. I won. I, I, we won this game. And y'all got so much to say. He, ah. They won. He played well. Nurk played horrible. And he got that last stop. And it was like pretty much like all four of those things had to happen for Draymond to have this much energy. Yes. I feel like if one of those things didn't happen, he would have had energy. But like it was a bit much. Yeah, that's what I said. It, just, <laughs> it was a perfect storm for him to flex. And... So it wouldn't have been no podcast after play. Hell no. Nah. If they lost? Nah. If they lost. I, I think, think he would have still got the spot. If he played well, maybe. I'm still but would he champ. Talk, would he would have talked nah, the way he was fourth, talking? But that four-time champ is meaningless when you when you take a L. You can't just, like that's the, you can't just run to your rings when you get in the ass with <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Down 20. Black <Ooh>. oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that, 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 that clay, that shit didn't age very well. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, like, no, you're down 30, <laughs> down dog. 30, nigga. <laughs> you got to wait. You got to wait before you pull out the... So, I mean, obviously, there's good reason for Draymond to be insulted by KD's comments in the aftermath, but KD is largely responsible for this Warriors dynasty. Two chips, two finals, MVPs. Draymond played a big role in recruiting KD to come to the dubs. Because we all remember the story about him crying in the car after LeBron mm. came back from a 3-1 deficit in the NBA Finals. Made history on the 73. He was crying in the car? Huh? He was crying in the car? That's just the story. Just a story. I'm just a host. Who was crying I'm pretty in the sure. car? Draymond. Dr Draymond. Oh. Draymond. But very emotional, very passionate. So LeBron was, LeBron was Debo and took his chain? You know. Nah, I think he was more... Took that trophy. Uh, I think he was more upset that they were 3-1 and then that suspension shifted to the series. So all that blame was going on him. He probably... Yeah. Damn, oh, yeah, that 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 hurt. That hurt. I, I ain't gonna lie. That that kind of probably hurt because no one realized how important at that time Draymond was. Yeah, until he got suspended. Right until he got suspended, I think he was like a minus nine. So when he's off the court, the the spread is minus nine for that team. So if they was averaging one twenty, with Draymond gone, they had one oh was it one oh nine, one eleven. We turn mind what, 32 15 in, in that game seven? Three probably? assists. I mean, what I'm saying is he got he he led in every category but scoring. The scoring. Damn. So, he you know, when assists. you take him off the court, right, they was gonna lose the next game. The next game, you know, he's coming back from suspension. He's 50 50 Draymond because he can't really do anything else. Right. Or there ain't no game seven. Game seven, he gets to be fully Draymond, but the tide is swung to Cleveland. Yep. You know, so I'm pretty sure that that kind of hurt him right there. And just in a defense of Draymond, Draymond said that that was an exaggerated telling of the story, although he did recruit KD to come to the Warriors. But should Draymond be more appreciative to KD for helping build this Warriors dynasty? I don't know if appreciative is the word I would use. Just maybe just more respectful of it. I don't know. Because, like, Draymond obviously was a huge part of those championships as well. So I think, I do think they still would have won with KD or without KD. But mm. obviously with KD, they were just different. So my question is, did the Warriors win the year before KD got there? Um, they were 73-9 and nine that season. That was when they, they lost. They reached the NBA Finals. Did have a 3-1 lead. We're on the, the precipice of winning a championship. <laughs> then LeBron James and the Cavs rattled off three straight wins. The most disappointing of all time. Including a mm -hmm. Game 7 yeah. win. And then here comes... In Oracle Arena. Savior. Here comes Superman. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Superman to save the day for two years in a row. And it's like, hallelujah. So you don't think they would have won at least one without KD in that two years he was there? No way. You needed him to get past LeBron. That was the only X Factor in the West that could compete with him. Mm -hmm. There was nobody else. Six nine, six six eight, six nine LeBron versus six eleven, Slim Reaper, yeah. Sniper. You need that. That's the only thing that could combat it. Now you look at LeBron now compared to Steph. It's like you don't still don't got nobody to compete with LeBron. Yes. So it's like, what do you do? Well, That's why they try to bring him back. That's why they're trying to bring LeBron. That's because it's like, you know, KD over here with them. And, but they don't got the Stephs and the Clays down in Phoenix. So that is a beautiful segue, Rashad. Apparently what you try to do, according to Woj and Ramona Shelburne, is uh, try to recruit LeBron to come to the Warriors. 
Uh, they dropped an article this morning uh, detailing how the Warriors tried to make a blockbuster trade for LeBron before the deadline, uh, with Draymond Green convincing Warriors owner Joe Lacob to holler at Jeannie Buss after Bron voiced some recent frustrations with the Lakers, including this tweet, as we all remember, uh, the hourglass that he put up, mm -hmm. I believe, on his way to Boston about 2.26 in the morning, uh, Eastern time. <laughs> hmm. Funny. On January 31st. Uh, so... Jeannie wants her superstars to be happy. Reached out uh, to LeBron's agent, Rich Paul, who also is the same agent as Draymond Green, about the move. And on the eve of the trade uh, deadline, according to this report from Woj and Ramona Shelburne, uh, Rich Paul told Lakeup and Warriors GM Mike Dunleavy Jr. LeBron was not interested in becoming a Golden State Warrior. Why do you think that is, though? Is it the storyline don't match up and it'll, it'll fuck everything up? because I've moved three teams already. Or may just... How they Does keep it look, this look like I'm ring chasing? So hmm? How they keep this under wraps for so long? You know, I'm always curious about timing and why things go, but the story was reported. <laughs> very convenient on Valentine's Day. Who was in the package deal? Uh, that's a very good question, Rashad. Uh, I'd imagine yeah, that Draymond yeah, yeah, and Steph were not. Because oh, they were so consulting. Yeah, I'm pretty they sure. They the whole damn team. They got to trade the whole fucking team. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure that... Um, they're not going to say who they were going to trade. Oh, because cause it would torpedo because their Because it didn't team. happen, you don't want to let all those players over there know that, yeah, we almost got y'all the fuck up out of here. But I'm like, there's literally, there's not very many play like, there's a handful of players on that team that you're like, that was probably me. If we, if we look at the money on the Warriors, if we go to Hoops Hype, shout out, they have a great salary feature that breaks all that down yeah, on Sport Track. It's not hard Most to likely it would have been, it would have been <laughs> Clay, Kaminga, Kaminga, oh, yeah. and Wiggins. Most likely. Just looking at the trade scenario, though, you're like, damn, Brian, this would be the second time you went to a super team scenario. That wouldn't be a super team because they traded everybody out of there. But just him and Steph. Yeah, they ain't no That's two, not two, a super team. If we consider these the only two mega stars we got left. Then well, you get rid of Clay and Camilo. What, what do you hear, have? Wait, wait, hear me out. And, hear me out. And Wiggins. And Wiggins. Hear me what out. What do you have? Hear me out. Two mega stars that are left in the NBA. On the same team. Yeah. Two megas. 35 and 39, though. Megas. The storyline looks crazy. It looked crazy for you to go down there with D-Wade and Chris Bosh. It looked crazy for you to come over here with AD, Dwight Howard, Rajon Rondo, uh, all of these guys, and you win a chip. Now you go play with Steph? That's no, crazy. They I mean, a, ring, a ring is a ring. 50 years from now, nobody, no, nobody knows. But it's crazy. But it, it's crazy today. Pretty sure back then the shit that was going on was crazy then, and we don't bring it up now, right? Because half the stuff no one remembers. Well, that's because half just, of the world is LeBron fans now. That's why. We just, no, we, just, we, just, we just think about the end result. We just get to the punchline. The punchline is rings or not, right? I'm pretty sure when... You know, Jerry West was going year after year, losing in the finals. People was making fun of him today. I mean, back then, right? Now, no one really. I mean, he got to be the logo, so. I mean, any so logo. why would they say no to the trade? Why would LeBron say no? Yes. He's happy where he's at. He's happy what? He's happy where he's at. What was the, no. what was the clock for? No, we he, don't know. Get rid of them. Huh? It could have been anything. But look, oh, so we didn't look at the interviews? When he was sweating, he was. Oh, so I'm glad I didn't say what I was gonna say. Thank you for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he did do that. Rashad. What was up? That looks like he frustration could, to been, me. They could have been delayed on the flight. But that looks like frustration to me. No, no, probably, you're frustrated with the team because you're not in position to win. But like, if if I'm getting traded to the Golden State Warriors, and Kaminga's gone, Clay's gone, Wiggins gone. Can't the a worse situation than The fuck do I really have? Just me and Steph and Draymond? We're not winning a championship. Those three is just not, we're not winning a championship. So what situation am I in? Like, if you're going to keep that whole team and I'm just going to go. I, I even ask, I even ask this. Is it legal for him to take a pay cut? Like, let's say he's worth 50 million, right? Is he legally allowed to be a max player going into, he, we, like, we know he's worth 50 million going into the open market. He says, I'm going to take a million dollars. Is that what we talked about last season? So the, new, the new thing so, that they no, put up? Yeah, no, just like, I, okay, I want to go to, let's say I want to go to Boston, 
right? And I say, oh, I'm going to sign the boss for $1 million. I don't think he can legally do that. Vet minimum? Vet I don't think minimum? he can take a vet minimum because he's not a vet men type of player. So I don't think the league will allow him to do something like that. But he is. No, he's, he's not. Because he meets the criteria of a vet. No, his numbers do not creep. Yeah, what? Because it's, yeah, no, it's not about numbers. It's not about numbers. It's about years. About your, no, your years. No, you you can't go. Or your you can't. contract set up right because like once once you hit like unrestricted free agency, you can sign for whatever, right? Yes. Technically, but no, you you still have an open value in the open market, right? right? So, but that's if, set by your agent. No, that's set by the market. So when the open market comes, they will say, all right, they have a list of eight, uh, free agents, right? And they, they rank the agents. Right. Yeah. So if LeBron is ranked number one as the free agent, which is the max player, right? And then he takes a million dollars. Oh, he would mess up everybody He messes else. up every... He, but that doesn't mean that it's illegal or he can't do it. It's illegal. It. You can't do it. I asked this morning. You cannot do it. But, but yeah, what about guys who take less to help the team out, right? Yeah, like, but what is they open... Like, so if I'm worth... If like I go Russell, to the, Russell Westbrook did it. Yeah, yeah, but... He took less. But what is he worth going into the market? He's not worth max. He was worth more than what they gave him. We don't him. know, but that's what I'm saying. We don't so know. So who sets the worth? That's what I'm Owners, saying. GMs it has stuff? to be the negotiation. Because Russ is definitely worth more than what he's making. Yeah, yeah he's worth... Yeah, he's worth... Four, like, what I'm saying is if he's General worth... public said no. If he's worth... worth what I'm saying, if he goes into the market and he's the number one option, worth $50 million, that's LeBron James, worth $50 million, and he goes and says, you know, I'm going to sign back for a million, two million, there's going to be an uproar. He's going to be like, well, if LeBron signs for Because this, think about it. Who can sign for this? If they, if they freed $50 million, he comes back with two. Think about what they can do now. You can... Yeah, especially as I said, like, I can so That's offset. like basically manipulating the salary cap mani- yes. to make a really and good team. And you're not allowed to do that. But girl, haven't we seen historically players take less money, take below what their mm-hmm. market value is, maybe not as egregious a, a number as that, mm-hmm. and then get that bread slid to them? Yes. yes. And that's what... Say with, yes. yes. Under the, but that's so it wouldn't said. change with LeBron. If I'm worth $20 million and I take 15 or 12 That's yeah. not as big of a deal. That's not as a big of a deal because that makes sense. You saying you're worth 50 and take one or two... What the fuck is going on here? What y'all do? What y'all doing? What y'all got going up y'all sleeve? There's gonna be an open investigation. So what is he getting a... paid in the back end? Because any smart, but he can say I don't need it. Any, yeah, he can. But they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna probe. But you because... don't, you don't have to take one million. He what can I'm take saying? like what? All right, let's do, let's do Clippers. Ten. Let's do Clippers, right? How many free agents are right now with the Clippers? Uh, going into this free agency, yeah. I mean, you got Paul George who still has a player option. Okay. Uh, Harden will be a free agent okay. as well. Then beyond that, you know, I can tell you names, but you probably uh, uh, no. Uh, Westbrook can opt out too, right? Westbrook has an right. option at four million. All right, now think about now think about if I'm bomber, I'm the richest owner in the NBA, not even close, right? Which means my money is fuck you money, and I sit here and say, all right, look, PG, PG, you're a free agent. Sign back for a million. Whatever you sign, I give it to you on the back end. I give it to you off off the salary cap, right? Um, Kawhi, no, James Harden, same thing. What do you want? Sign for one million, vet man, vet man, boom. Russell, opt out, let that money off my salary cap, right? Sign if it wasn't him, give it to you in the back. I give it to you off books. I can give it to you off books, right? Who's going to catch me, right? I give you three off books, same amount of money. Now my salary cap is freed for me to sign three people the same. Yeah. There's like, right, so there's I can keep those place. three. That's there's so rules. So something happen? They would be investigated. I mean, obviously they would be investigated. For them to make a rule like that. Yeah, but I would, I would. Yeah, so I can sign. I can, I can give you money without giving you money. But I can just write checks. Yeah. Mm. I don't need to use it. So now my my salary cap. Fucking the thing about it, I lost. PG, what is PG making? Uh, he'll be making a, somewhere in the Thir- ballpark of fifty so, million. So I leave so forty nine million, million player. So so forty nine so forty nine million come off my caps. James Harden money comes off my cap. Russell Westbrook comes off. Now if I if that comes off the cap, think about who I can go sign now. Yeah. Hmm. I'm all for chaos as you are. That's what I'm saying. You can't. That's you know you, you're not allowed. They're not gonna allow that. That's, Hell no. But according to Mark Stein, uh, reportedly there are at least two teams in the NBA that believe LeBron James would consider uh, signing with them for far less than the $51.4 million I think he's scheduled to make next season if Bronny James is on the roster. So. Ah, that makes more sense that he wouldn't want to do the trade because of that. 
So wait to see. Are y'all drafting Bronny? Drafted? But I mean, you don't even need to draft Bronny. If you even if you don't draft Bronny, you can sign him as a free he agent. Can still sign him, yeah. You don't. But he's get getting drafted. paid throughout the rest of the season. Who? Right, Bron. Yeah. So at the end of the season, what? It, he can opt out. He opts out, right? Opt out of fifty million. Now he can change the dynamic of all of that. Mm. But see, that's he can I'm change saying. the dynamic of all of that. All of free agency. All of free caps. agency. All of that. All of that shit you just talked about goes out the fucking window, and it's like if guys start taking. Then, no, that's money, like, so what I'm saying. Is that's exactly what happens. Together. He can go into free agency. He can go into free agency and say, "All right, hey Boston, you draft my son. I'm coming. Vet men. That's what I'm saying. Vet whoever, men. whoever does that." And he comes there with averaging 25. He makes the first team. He does all these accolades. And then he shifts himself to vet mem. Or it ain't even got to be Boston, you take my son. It's whoever takes my son. I'm, and I'm a free agent until he gets drafted. No, but what I'm saying is any team that, any team that will be drafting his son, you, you're talking about late first round, second round. That's going to be like the Bostons, the Milwaukee Bucks, teams like that. And I still don't see him going, putting himself in a small market. But if it's capable of winning a chip, yo. Going, like, going back to Cleveland. That's what I'm saying. Nah, Cleveland not. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> 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 going back to Cleveland. Team? Bronny getting drafted to Cleveland. He would mess up free agency for everybody if he did that. Yeah, that's what it fucks free. It, it fucks it up for a little bit. It's I think if Donovan Mitchell, like, Donovan if Mitchell goes to New York, millions, boom, boom, get Donovan out of there, Bron come back, and we end it here. End it where we started it. Mm. Interesting. End it. <laughs> well, get, well, what I'm saying is, why do you need to get? You don't need to get rid of nobody because he gets to see that. Well, Donovan's gonna go. He's gonna go anyway. Oh, you get to come. That's what I'm saying. You can motherfuck around and go to. He can go to Suns. He can go in, like if he's coming in as a free agent and he can, he's can take whatever he wants. You're talking about a guy who can really change. He can go to Denver. Who the money don't matter at that point. But, remember, but that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be a rule where they're gonna say, hold on, remember, you just can't do this. Remember what Rich said though. When Rich was on the couch, he's like, the reason we picked LA is because of the challenge, the challenge attached to it. Which is we had, we wanted to fit into this legacy and see if we can bring more mm -hmm. prestige to the legacy. The challenge, they got the chip, the bubble shit, you know, the ring pop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Accomplished, right? So what's next? <laughs> the the you said the ring pop. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, said just the ring what pop. it is. Bubble ring, hardest just ring. Just calling it what it is. And hey, listen, hardest Bam thing. said it was the hardest. Place to play. And that, Even Bam, he didn't win. So Bam is a reliable human being, a man of great uh, candor, demeanor. Mm -hmm. But let's let's highlight another <laughs> another story uh, that that or another little tidbit that was in that Woj and Ramona Showburn story. Uh, it also detailed how Sixers president Daryl Morey reached out to Lakers GM Rob Palenka before the Warriors in, inquiring about a James trade. According to the article, after seeing James' cryptic social media post of an hourglass a week before the trade deadline. Philadelphia 76ers president of basketball operations, Daryl Morey, called Palinka to probe on a James trade and was immediately told that James wasn't available. In fact, Palinka responded by asking Morey if, if Joel Embiid was available, sources said in that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to get LeBron with Embiid? No, he's saying LeBron's off the table, but you trying to get rid of Embiid? I got the love of He was like, what a stupid question to ask. I got a few pieces I can give you for Embiid. Embiid and LeBron, ooh, shit, we good over here. Uh, shout out to so, some so, of reporting. <laughs> now, that's funny. So that's funny. All right, well, let's talk about another move that could have happened you know, at the you deadline. You know what's so funny? <laughs> if you AD, you looking at that, like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, like little shit like what that, you what mean, you mean? Are you asking for him for who? That's Rob. For who? Rob. <laughs> you putting me at the phone? Who? who? <laughs> dirty Rob. Yeah, dirty man. Rob. Dirty I'm Rob, Rob, man. Five. I'm still... Yeah. Rob, a dirty shout motherfucker, AD. man. Uh, should be defensive player of the year the way he's playing this season. We appreciate yes. what you're doing. Let's talk about another trade that almost happened. So Kyle Kuzma was one of the bigger names on the trade market before the deadline. But when given the option to get shipped to the Mavs or stay with the Wizards, he decided to chill in Chocolate City. And in an interview with Josh Robbins of The Athletic, Kuz broke down the details on his decision to stay in D.C. He said, uh, Wizards president Michael Winger presented me with what the trade was and obviously didn't want to trade me and kind of left the decision up to me a little bit and asked me what I wanted to do. I told him I wanted to stay and continue to build something and that was kind of the end of it. Uh, Kuz went on to say that in my career I've won a championship, 
So I understand when we play this game of basketball, it's not about contending for a play. We play this game of basketball, it's not about contending for a playoff spot, it's about contending for an NBA championship. There's only like three or four contenders, true contenders. I just felt like our timelines didn't line up. So this is a little different than uh, what Kuz said earlier in the season when wait, asked. Wait, what? What timeline is he talking about? Wait, hold on. You, what kind wait. of timeline is Washington on? I think, <laughs> nigga, we're get to that, what the I think, fuck? I think Kuz, what Kuz is basically saying that he didn't feel like the Mavs would be contenders even but with him. The Mavs would the Mavs wouldn't be a contender with him. So, Sanchez, I'm not going to go. Okay, let me just try this as a basketball player. I'm not going over there to be option three when I'm an option one right now. That's, that's that is is basically that's what I'm saying. That's the timeline he's talking about? The timeline is I'm an option one right now getting all the shots. I'm not going down there and being behind Luka and Kyrie. Is you crazy? And I, and, and I already got my ring. And Tim Hardaway. And Tim Hardaway. Hey, watch this. Ain't that what I said about Brunson? What did you say about Jalen Brunson? How the fuck would Brunson go down to any other team? He's number one. He's the number one option. That's what I you mean, said? Basically, yeah. Because I, Didn't I say that he is not a number one option? He is in New York. And that's why they won't win. That was the whole point. That's, that's what why he's I knew saying, he wasn't spending attention. That's what he's saying. They ain't going to win either. He's like, why would I go over there to we Dallas? Said there's three contenders. No, but I, Dallas wasn't one of them. So what am I... Doing this for, which I can, uh, I can agree. Doing this, yeah, I don't want, to be honest. I, why am I going to be an option I, four on a non-contending team when no, I'm already I, on a non-contending team and I'm option one? I don't want to be on a, uh, I don't even want to be, I, I, I'm about to be a free agent pretty soon. So, he co-signed a four-year, $90 million deal with the Wiz last summer. So, let me give you guys a little bit of more information that's specific to this particular discussion. Because we talk a lot about winning versus mm -hmm. getting the bag. So he's in his seventh season, won a ring with the Lakers 2020 in a reserve role, got traded to the Wizards in the Westbrook deal, started every game that he's played there, signed that four-year deal, which ends 2027, but that deal includes a 15% trade kicker. So if he would have agreed to the trade of the math, he would have got 15 more percent of his bread on top of his salary right now. Yeah. But, but again, the problem is, now, the back end of it, I get 15%, but then I'm a third, four option the whole time. What is my value in the in the marketplace. Year 10 now when you become a free agent in 2027 because I think his yeah. deal has no team or player option. Yeah, so but, the thing, but the thing about the Brunson thing, the Brunson thing wasn't about if Brunson wants to go. I'm saying if you want to win a championship yourselves as an organization, Kuzma can't be your number one. Brunson can't be your number one. I'm saying if you bring somebody over, having Brunson as your second or third option, oh, you motherfuckers is good. But I was speaking from Brunson's perspective, oh, I don't not the organization. Oh, I'm, I'm saying, saying I speak from it won't make sense for Brunson Hell to go no. anywhere yeah. else. Okay. I'm the number one option right. in New York. And Why would I go to somewhere and be three or four yeah, I'm not just for the sake of... No, I'm not, recruit, I'm not recruiting nobody. But like, hey, Brunson, we looking for this player. I need you to call him and... <laughs> I, I, I got you, boss. <laughs> so, what did he say? Oh, he said not right now. All right, <laughs> I'm done. Right now, I'm the number one option right now. We're in the playoffs. I'm averaging 27, about to be all-star, all-NBA. Max all me. That's all I was now, saying right like, now. I was, you were speaking from an organization. Oh, yeah, I'm speaking from an I'm organization speaking speaking standpoint. The player, the player hell no. Nah. Yeah. Player, nobody want to be number two. So let's talk about <laughs> an Arcusa situation, because the Wizards are one game ahead of the Pistons for the worst record in the league. But is yeah. averaging 22 points a game, six rebounds, four assists. Like I said, his bread's good till 2027, and he has the opportunity to be the guy on this Wizards squad. I don't really know what that means, but... What that is. means is I get to shoot all the shots. I get to average about 20-something. When I go into free agency, give me my 150, 200, whatever, whatever these numbers is worth, give me that. And I'm a stay. Once I get that... Hey, you say you want to trade me again. Is that math if, deal if still on? If it's still on the table. Is that meal that was no, on the fact. table? You're, you're 12. Yeah. He needs right, that, championship so time. he needs that next contract. Because yeah. I mean, it was a dilemma I was, I was weighing in my head if I was him. Yeah, you go to the Mavs, you're now that third, fourth option, but you do actually win, have the opportunity. I'm just saying, you're getting the bread's guaranteed already for till year 10, but now year 10, you might be shit out of luck. Man, you see what this is? You see what they're doing to the fucking... Uh, Clay Thompson right now. Yeah, exactly. Four rings. Yeah, yeah, we going to uh, two-year... Right. Uh, to, got them WNBA contracts. All right. Two years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. 17 All years, right. 105. Unless you're not having that shit no more. <laughs> I got to make more than $75, Gil. Like, yeah. No, I'm just saying, that's what, no. that's what they do. I'm sorry, Lexi. How about to say, like, G League contracts? G League, leave me alone. God damn. <laughs> All right, 
Why they be happy, y'all? I'm just saying. You got to be saying. 15 right. years. Right. Right. They be like, Jay, that's my whole life. Get your microphone and talk to them. That's my whole life. I don't even know how to work this thing. This nigga is violating you, dog. Yeah. She be like, that's my whole life. Yeah. 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 That's my whole life. <laughs> The okay. megaphone so has a lot of buttons on it. That's why God, I just keep it over there. But even for so. even for Kuzma, it's like, yeah, <laughs> you, it would make sense for you to wait to get the bread. Hell yeah. To do because what happens is he gets lost in the sauce in Dallas immediately. Yeah. And then you get that next contract extension, and it's like it don't make any sense because mm -hmm. you got lost. You behind Luca and Kyrie. So let's say it was at least in Kuz's opinion, what would be a true contender. Man, let's know. Buck man, Celtics. I'm just not, saying, if one of he, those teams were. were listen, were he got 90. Listen, he got 90 million, right? And to him, he's playing up to that contract right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Like no matter whatever the record is, he is playing up to like because he's not. He is not the franchise guy. What's funny is when Jordan Poole went there, they had Jordan Poole in front of him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he still gets to be the guy on the team, right? Beal left. Uh, Poole is not playing very well, so he technically is the franchise dude right now. He's not, I'm not giving that up. How, like, I, think about it. He's, this is one whole year of him being the number one option. Like, I'm the franchise guy, like, shit feel good around here. You go into the club, Kuzma, hey, 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 got my girl, right now. got a supermodel on my arm. They're right? not doing that to them right she, now. She, you crazy. They're getting booed at home. It's no, no, no. They, 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 they ain't booing they they boo right now. They boo, not him, but they they boo. They boo and Jordan. They boo and Jordan. They boo and Jordan. Poole. They boo and Jordan. Shit out y'all right now. Y'all don't really know what's going on over there with Jordan Poole, huh? Y'all don't see y'all see what's happening. No one cares. That nigga packed that shit up. He said, you know what? Checks in the mail. I don't give a hell. Hey, is is <laughs> Kuz living Jordan Poole's dream right now? He Mr. Poole made similar comments and going to with. No, what I'm saying is Jordan Poole said it at the beginning. We try to pretend that wasn't. Yeah, I you say. know my legacy's already stamped. <laughs> I ain't gotta do shit. I, got I ain't gotta I do got shit. I can straight. pack it up. Him and his parents had a whole conversation. Are you sure you want to do this, son? Yeah, fuck these niggas. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga uh, Barrington that was gave me the, the, the lowdown and he he went to the game and he said the nigga fouled out. He fouled out. In 25 minutes, I believe? No points. Mm -hmm. He said, bro, he looked like he didn't give a fuck. He was just fouling just to foul. Wait, wait he fouled? Yes. Yeah, Zero points. points. Zero points, points 25 fouls. minutes, recent game. Six fouls. What? Who was he playing? They was, uh, I can't remember. Uh, Memphis, I think. It don't matter, bro. At home. <laughs> Memphis. At home. Zero points. Marcus Smart? At home. No, Marcus Smart. He, he, he hurt. Yeah. Who? Fouls. Fouls. When Ja left, I, I, I. Cleveland. 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 Cleveland at home. Oh, I mean, Cleveland I feel like I feel like he did like what Sha was just saying. He was like, I'm, I'm sick of this shit. Yes. So get me out this damn game. Direct mm -hmm. deposit. But it seems like Poole made that made those comments going into DC and took on a leadership role initially. Kuz is actually living that dream right now. I'm putting up the 22 a game, watching you get booed. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm shit. I'm good. Right. Boo this man. Boo. Hey, hey, Boo hey. This they starting to boo him. You got them to go. <laughs> Come on, keep it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. He Hulk Hogan. He Hulk Hogan, though. Hey, darling. He couldn't, hey, look, listen, Poole couldn't bend on our team in the Wizards, bro. We would have enticed him. We would have enticed him to boo him. Mm. Then he over there getting up. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad. I do, but I don't. The reason is, you left to go there to be a star. He didn't leave. No, no, no. Did he pick the Wizards? No, he didn't leave. You, no, no, okay. You, yeah, he, got he, got punched, out. he got punched. He got traded. No, okay, look. You they got punched tra him to the Wizards. You got traded. You got traded. The Mega Man punch. No, 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 he got Mega Man punch too. <laughs> but you went to a team that the stars left. And they paid you the type of money that, that yes. made you the star. And then you started the summer off saying, all right, let's do it. We're going to work out together. We're going to do all that. So you took on the leadership role. And summer league, I mean, not summer league, but uh, preseason, preseason started. We like, oh, like, remember. Yeah, one good game. We all had him averaging about 30. Yeah. We, we like, oh, he can probably lead the league. He can probably lead the league because we're thinking about there nobody there. You are allowed to shoot 40 shots, no questions asked. We, we had Andre Iguodala, his former teammate with the Warriors, on this couch. Mm -hmm. Iggy thought of being the 25, I think, point range. 
25, yeah, 25 on the whistle, bad year. Yeah, mm -hmm. get a good whistle, be able to really do his thing without any, any limitations, but... You know, sometimes, sometimes overthinking, um, overthink, like, when you are, when you a fourth option, you, you come into the game, there's really no pressure on you mm -hmm. to play, right? Mm -hmm. There's no scheming for you, like, you know, when you're scheming for the, the Golden State Warriors, you're scheming for one, two players, right? Mm -hmm. So Jordan Poole comes in there and gets the free play, yep. right? Um, you get the free play, that is a lot easier. He versus less minutes and shot yeah. attempts on yeah, Wizards that's, right now. Yeah, he played like Golden State. I'm playing 30 something minutes here. I'm playing 20. It's crazy. But that's the luxury, the luxury could, that he yeah. had of playing with other good players. Having 30 minutes a game off the bench is but, is nice. But when people talk about like third options and oh, this guy should be in the Hall of Fame, and y'all really have to think about Jordan. When you start thinking about these third options and thinking how good they are, Jordan Poole is the prime example. A guy who was very great as a third, fourth option, averaging 20-something. You put him as the number one option. Don't convert. Yeah, like it don't convert. How many times you get the best defender? How many times you get never, the So you never get the best Nothing. defender. You yep. never get the you never get the second best defender. Maybe in the fourth quarter when Maybe. they play him in the fourth. But even then, yeah. you, you, you're in the game players. with <laughs> Steph and them, so the, really the best players are on them. Yeah. You're the utility guy yeah. that's Kawhi, open all the time. Kawhi Leonard ain't guarding you. Paul George ain't guarding you. Norman you know what I mean? Powell, you're probably, maybe. yeah, you might, might even get more. You might even get him. Yeah, maybe. So now you're getting those guys, mm -hmm. and it shows you where you really stand in this NBA. Not ready. That's what I was saying initially. I'm like, he ain't ready to be number one option because he never took the learning lessons from Steph and them. Even though you was like, well, you was there, you was watching. I'm like, but he wasn't trying to prepare himself for a number one option. He had accepted his role as third, fourth, whatever. So now it's like, oh, I'm automatically, I've been punched into first. <laughs> so, but, Shit. but guess what? He has close to $100 million coming to him. No, no, no that's not. It's yeah. guaranteed. That's, I'm just saying. But, that, but that's, that's the problem. Like, if I'm, if I'm trying to talk to him, like, I'm like, listen, do you want to be worth, like, you got put in a position to be worth $300 million after this contract. So you can either be $300 million or you're going to get a two-year 35. There, Right, take this shit serious. There's no like I don't know. I don't get like some players when they when they get paid, they do check out. Like do y'all know this? Do you nothing. know that they there's more money? Yeah. Like there's there's so much there's money. more. They're, like they're giving out more. <laughs> like and they want to give it to you. Yeah, like, but it's it's a different generation where they're soft and sensitive. They can't take the shit that we took to get to that shit. Like we, I know I was willing to take whatever lumps and whatever. It just never got there. Right. But I know guys that did was mm -hmm. like went through the trenches to get the bread. Now it's like, I'll take what you give me. I come from nothing. I'm cool. My family cool. 50 million is cool. 70 million is cool. Oh, I got a hundred guaranteed coming my way. Cool. Hey, pops, moms, relax. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play like shit for a good two years. But how much does that have to do with the franchise as well? Are right? you going from the Warriors? Warriors spending the most bread in the league, trying to be contenders, trying to be a championship level team. Wizards basically more or less will tell you they're the opposite of that. Yeah. Shit, we, we might not win 15 games. Like, how does that deal with your mental if you're used to being in a winning franchise now going to that side? Because you're playing a di but see, the, the difference is you're playing a different game, mm -hmm. right? Um, when, I was on that friend, when I was on that winning franchise team, I wasn't him, right? I was a player on the team, right? Steph Curry, Clay, they went through the trenches to get here, right? I came on on the, to the, 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 the coattails of them. When I'm going to Washington, you have to put yourself not as a champion. You have to put yourself back to where Steph was when he first got drafted, mm -hmm. in the trenches. That's where you are. So you have to understand the process from there. Yeah, you won a championship then, but now you are your own man now. So yep. you won a championship as a fourth option. You want to win a championship as a number one option. Mm -hmm. And that is a whole different path. And right now, winning ain't part of that. It's learning, taking the hits, taking the bumps. It's, it's the Michael Jordan. Is the, like, you know what I mean? Like even when Kobe, when Kobe won his, he's like, yeah, it felt good, but it wasn't, it wasn't all me. Right. 
get rid of him, get rid of him. And let, let me, me do me. Do it, let yeah. me build it. Now I'm ready to go. Let's build. Now these championships feel much better. Mm -hmm. But the difference is Jordan Poole didn't ask for it. And I believe that it's something that you got to want. Mm -hmm. Kobe wanted that shit. Mm -hmm. I want to get rid of this nigga because y'all saying I'm, I'm robbing. I need to be Batman because mm -hmm. that's who I am innately. But Jordan Poole, I believe that he never, ever thought at one point in his career right now that he could be number one. I think he was enjoying the ride and it was smooth sailing. I probably expect to be number one yeah. like after Steph and them was gone. Oh yeah, eventually, yeah. down the line. But he's he probably why he probably didn't even ask Steph or any of them about their experience exactly. from the beginning. But exactly. even if he did, he didn't experience. That's not that wasn't his experience. Gil, to your point, you're talking about Steph coming. Steph had to make that experience. If you pull coming in, you might just think this is what the league is like, and I'm gonna go over to DC and it's yeah. gonna be the same exact yeah, like, no, right. that's the Now guy. I'm just a man. I've been with these dudes, I've learned. Now you realize shit, like you said, now you're that, that number one guy on the scouting report. See, that's the, and that's what I, that, if I would have warned, if I would have had to tell him one thing before he went there, is whatever you learned in Golden State, understand that you can't process it and use it today. Oh, different. How you was in high school, that's today. Yep. You go out there and you have to just let everything you know onto the court. Every move you want to try, this is when you do it. You are super ultra aggressive to understand how to carry mm -hmm. quarter, and then half, game, right? You lose 10 in a row, y'all lost. You hit 10 shots in a row, come back and win. You have to experience that today yep. to understand how to lead later on. Yep. Steph learned that. Steph learned how to, shit, I got to do this and do this to the point where when you got there, this is all smooth selling for them dudes. Mm -hmm. So you think he could come back for this? Because it looks like at nah. this point he's given, yeah, he's given up. Yeah, he gave up. Yeah, because it was so overwhelming. It's like, damn, it's not only the pressure of expectation, but it's my, my teammates. And now they all looking and expecting me to play the way I was playing in Golden State. And I can't even play that way because I was playing with a bunch of winners yeah. who were used to winning, and we ain't shit, and we losing, and now y'all looking at me like, hey, carry us. And he's like, well, I don't have a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Steph was the backpack. I was in the, I was in the backpack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I got the backpack, and you niggas is like, we don't fit. I got a sack. <laughs> I got a sack. <laughs> so, 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 I got a hacky sack <laughs> around the waist. A fanny pack. Give me some time to go get the backpack. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, give me some time to get the backpack. <laughs> For real. I got something, but damn, give me some time. <laughs> I got essentials in this bitch. <laughs> I got my things. Got my little lip gloss. I got my things. <laughs> I got my shit in here. Oh, What's y'all shit? Geez. So question Plus. for the couch. So, Gil, you don't think it's necessary to work out with the Wizards, but do you see... It's over. But he's do you, a six man. But do you see a world where, let's say, he goes to a team like the Bucks? He's from Milwaukee. He can find his groove again, being back in a different position now, not the, having to be... You and know. that's the problem. You, you know, everyone don't get a chance to be the number one player. Right. This was your chance to be the number one player. You didn't know how to accept the role. So moving forward after this year, you are going to be put into a role of a six man. Like, like Tyler Hero. Like, there was a point where, you, you see what I mean? Like yep. Tyler Hero and all them. Like, Tyler Hero is technically the number one option. We didn't never, per we didn't look at it like that, right? right? We never looked at like Tyler Hero's, because Tyler Hero got hurt before the playoffs. But if you look, he was damn near leading the league in scoring. This year, he's the number one option. That was supposed to be, you know, Jordan Poole. So he's going to go back into a situation where, like, yeah, he's better coming off the bench where yes. there's no pressure. You don't have to worry about nothing. Shoot the shots if you're making the shots. We'll, you know, right? He's like like Monk right now. Yes. Yeah. And there's See, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say. Is no, there, like, no. Do you feel like there's anything wrong with being no, in that no. spot? Hey, and that's, hey, that's a great comparison because Monk is so cold yep. and you would want to put him in the starting lineup because how cold he is but he doesn't function in the starting lineup the way you would want him to. Yeah. He plays much better without the pressure on him. Now, the problem, the problem, that, like when you say he's better off coming off, you would think so, but the problem is he got put into a seat. Like, I got put into the Maybach seat, right? Oh, shit, I didn't run. Now, now you're going to go into the passenger seat. Yeah. Are you, are you going to ever be happy again knowing that your ass is always going to be a passenger? When once After you having set, a chance. And once having a chance to sit there, you're going to be thinking about 
Damn. Trying to get back to mm -hmm. sit there when that time ain't gonna come. Not really. You're gonna be a forever six man. Not really, because a motherfucker who can't drive is a motherfucker who can't drive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's anxiety kicking in and motherfuckers are turning and left and right now. Yeah, maybe. Let me sit like, over here. Yeah, like, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like to man. drive. Let me I'm sit right Like with Lou Williams, right? Lou Williams. Lou Williams never really got a chance to start. Right. He was not like he was always so it's easier for him to move like that. Like even when he was the best player on the team. They bring him off the bench, yep. still, mm -hmm. right? So he never got a chance to really be a starter to show that I can start. You got a chance, right? Right. So Lou Williams' whole thing, him, I'm like, damn, I wish I had a chance to start. Jamal too. My my whole career would have been different if I got a chance to start. Pool's whole thing is them be like, damn, I fucked, I fucked that up. But but yeah, that, that's definitely one way of thinking about it. But now if he goes to a team that's a contender level team has the opportunity to win more championships. That may be in the back of his mind, but also in the back of his mind, like, shit, we just won 14 games this season. Yeah. I'm now a, I'm at a squad that's winning 55, 60. Yeah, that shit sounds cool. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna tell you something uh, 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 a owner told me. If you have a franchise for 10 years, and then you have, to, you have to get rid of it after 10 years, in those 10 years, one road is you won five, you won five rings, and you made 500 million or zero rings and two billion, which road did you take? Oh, as an owner? I'm two taking billion. the two billion easy. And you said exactly. <laughs> Donald Sterling, I don't agree. All of it, that's what I'm saying, all of the same. Now, you would not hear one owner unless he just this really off the wall dude as a businessman say you're gonna take the five rings with the 500 million. So just like any, any guy, right? If I'm a player, I want, uh, we're reversed. We are brought up winning, right? We're thinking about winning and winning and winning until we get to the league and we realize it's like money is what everyone's after. So winning a ring and sitting on the bench, right? And then you're not holding this ring to the, the value of someone who didn't win, right? Pool goes into the open market. Remember, he getting paid the damn near the same as them uh, hero. Hero ain't got no ring. <laughs> When Hero leaves, Hero won't have no ring. Jordan Poole can get two more rings as a bench man. Hero is going to make three times more money than dude. Okay. I think that's something as fans that they don't understand about your guys' perspective a lot. Because everything is growing up is about winning championships and being good team players and all that shit. But basketball becomes a business. And now it's about bag. Until you well, said, and now it's like that in college, too. Yeah. So these guys and girls, or not as much girls, but more guys... They're going to start chasing the bag before it rings, I think, more so than in the past because they're doing it now in college. Yeah. Well, that's why I think Nobody the game is suffering. in college no more. The game is insufferable at that point because it was a game. And that's why we played. Yep. To win, right? Championships, ring culture, whatever. I call it win culture. But once it becomes a business, mm -hmm. which is what y'all alluded to, it becomes about the money. Yeah. And it, be it stops becoming about winning. But when was it ever about winning and not the money? When there wasn't enough money to make it about anything but winning. It's all, but that's what I said. There's it wasn't a lot there. of, not when I was coming up, it wasn't about the money because Jordan wasn't even making 30, 30 million plus until a certain year. But, and it wasn't about the money at that point. Everyone yeah, no, was just no, playing. No, no, see, that's what I'm saying. No, it was about the money. That's why they were complaining. How is this man making more than me? That's what but the before, fight was. Before he got that contract, it wasn't that at all. No. Everyone was making the damn near amount. He, what? No, no, everybody wasn't. They were getting screwed the whole time looking at everybody else's contracts. Mm -hmm. Pippen, like, Pippen was mad that he signed that deal. I'm talking about Jordan before, was mad. I'm talking about before all that. No, before them. Remember, Jordan, when Jordan was winning championship, he was like, what, the 100th highest paid player. Everybody else was making money. Patrick, you and all, they were being paid. And he's like, yo, what the fuck is this? But I think, Rashad, you're so, talking about like the youth level. Like yeah. when we were coming up, like AAU as kids. Oh, we don't know. The youth level, I mean, no one knew about money. That's I'm what about I'm saying, bro. Our culture wasn't driven by money because it wasn't about business. It was about the game. It was about winning. You played the game to win. That's why that whole AAU circuit was about winning. It was about getting to the national championship and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. So then beyond that, when it became a business, guys started looking at the money. Money now, it's like how much can I get paid at the NBA level? Yeah, at yeah, the NBA level. It's just it's like just slowly been trickling down. Yeah, yeah. That's now, what's now it's and the more the now, money grows, the more the the more the the account well not necessarily accountability but the appreciation of winning 
started to dwindle. It's like, well, I don't give a fuck about winning if I'm getting 200 million. But we see it at, at the high school well, level too. To, listen, are you talking about college? I mean, high I'm school. Talking about all ages. Just at this the trickle point. down effect. Now, it used to be more centric to the NBA. Now you've seen it in college. That's what when we're little, we don't we don't see what we don't really know the NBA life of what they're making. Like we don't understand the concept of the money. That's what so I remember Brandon Jennings saying he was getting paid money to play as an AAU kid. Yeah, that's but right? that's rare. But but that was that's more normal now. Though, you know what I'm saying? But like, that's normal now. But even back then, so we still wanted to win. We still was putting ourselves, and there wouldn't be no super teams today if it was about money, right? These kids still want to win. In the NBA is when we get the reality check. Because it becomes a bit. It's because the NBA, it's a business. It's the National Business Association. That's what. I, that's what my. I'm alluding to the business. When you're in school, you brought up. It's about winning, because we don't pay attention to the salaries and blah blah mm -hmm, blah. Mm -hmm. Once we cross the threshold of you can make this amount, you can get this, you can live like this. It's like mm. it, you're giving me a choice to do this or win. I'm gonna do this, right? Because we're all alluding to this is more important now. But to me, it's a game at the end of the day mm -hmm. that has turned into a business. Yeah. Now, we used to say, well, at the end of the day, if this is a game, I can make this, win this, and then go off about my life and do other things. Now it's like, nah, you want to make as much money as possible so you don't even have to do other things. Right. You can just live off this money. And that's where we are right now, where everybody's like, well, fuck it. I don't, I don't want to have to do anything. But when, no. you see, when you see owners, though, right, and how much bread they're making, team valuation skyrocketing, Teams getting bought for eight, nine hundred million, now worth three, four, five billion dollars. I think it's only natural for you to say, "Yo, I want some of that." Bread. Wasn't your dad and them back then complaining about money? The, uh, yes, that's, <laughs> that's why, that's saying, why I all... have to work to this day. That's what I'm not living a life of leisure. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We didn't, but again, remember, we're little, so we don't know they're complaining about money. Like when I talked to the Clyde, and he said, "You know, when your own team don't want to sign you back, you ain't playing as hard. I'm playing good enough." For another team to see me, so when I go in the free agency market, I can make my money. You got to think about it. these dudes. These dudes is eighty, ninety thousand to them. It's money. Then he's making ninety thousand. Should I'm, I'm playing better than him? I want my hundred ten. For sure. You know what I mean? So sure. it was the same thing. It was, what, just less, it was just less money. But yeah, but back then it was still big money. Right. Back then, right? right? Five million dollars back in the eighties was big money, right? So when you're talking about Jordan, when Jordan skyrocketed and said, no, I'm worth 32. Remember, he's maxing himself out, mm -hmm. right? Because you cheated him so much. Max, ma Kobe never took a pay cut. I'm not taking no pay cut. Like, you, you, this is your business, not mine. So there's two sides of an argument. The argument is this. You getting your value and you can, you complaining about not getting your value, Right? So if you go into the open market and you're worth 50 million, you're like, I want my 50 million, right? But it's also about what you're bringing the, to the market too. Between the two players you just alluded to, Kobe and Mike, they're bringing what to the table? Winning. They're bringing the winning to it. So if Mike not winning, that 32 really don't really convert to anything, but I'm winning. I got three championships and I'm gonna give you three more. Kobe, I got three championships. I'm not taking no fucking pay cut because I am a champion. Yeah, but the they're getting the support of the I'm franchise further, too, though, Yes, right? and I'm getting, I'm getting the support of the franchise based on what we've done for the organization. So now when I go to the market, I have an added incentive to say with my, with my credentials, I'm a champion. Okay, but what happens when they say, well, if you're, you want 30 million, well, if you take 30 million, we can't build this team. If you take 20 million, we can keep us championship ready. Mm -hmm. And they say, man, give me my goddamn money. You don't have no championships. But you better poop give me your my ass money. off. Right. But, that, but that's the thing. It's, 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 that. it's, that's what I'm saying. It's really a battle of, it's a battle of our youth going against us. When we're, going, when we're asking for money, it's us, it's us fighting against us. It's not us fighting against them because they say, all right, here's, you're worth 50 million. But if you take 30, we, you can, go get X, we can go get X, Y, and Z and win some championships. Help, now yeah. you sitting there negotiating with your own worth. And that's the problem. The problem isn't are you selfish or not. The problem is the owner knows that if you want to win, you got to sacrifice 
because I'm not going to, I want to win too, but I'm not sacrificing my money. You're going to sacrifice your money. Who are you going to sacrifice for is the most important question because when they, uh, they give you the option, all right, I give you, you were 50, I want to give you 30, but 20 is going to go to X player. Mm-hmm. If you like tr- X player and trust X player can help you win, you're like, oh, yeah? Antoine? Uh-huh. Paul Gasol? Yeah. Shit. We can definitely take it to the house. I'm willing to try that. I'm willing to try that. Now think about it. I'm the owner. I have a profit too. Guess who profit? Guess who profit didn't change? The owners. Mine. <laughs> so you were 50. I made you take it down to 30 to get him for 20. And if we don't to win, win me a championship. If we don't win, I took I took the risk as the player. I took the risk. You because, get blamed. Yeah. No, you, you get blamed you because took I risk. took the risk. Listen, you took the risk, you took the blame. I you still get paid. make yeah. my money. 100%. No matter what. But he gave you the choice. Remember he gave you the choice. No. I give you the 50. Mhm. Or you could take the 30 and we can bring in it. kind of sound, you know like when you had a workout and your coach was like y'all don't got to be there Optional. but Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Vol- voluntold. <laughs> voluntold. Yeah. But that's wow. what I said. It's like we got we, optional workouts, but you know. Yeah, like, like, they don't but, have to be, but, be but, there. But mm-hmm. think about it. Like, it's my business. I want rings too, as the owner. The rings help the evaluation of my team too, right? So if you're worth fifty, and you're worth twenty. It's in my best interest to make sure I get both you guys, right? Yep. Well, if I pay you 50 and then pay you 20, that means I'm eating. I'm not eating as much myself. Are you still eating? Not as much. But if I can convince you to take the 20 to give it to you, I get to stay full. You guys win me a championship. Now, my motherfucking organization is worth $10 billion. That means Like what they're doing to Clay? Hey, listen, I don't think you and... Uh, <laughs> ah, you, 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 two year, eight million? Ah, we over there like, hell yeah, it, it don't cost us nothing. But you've been yeah. eating. You already, Clay, been eating well. I, I been you, full I tell, for a while. I tell you like this, for a per, listen, I took a pay cut, $16 million pay cut. They help out Antoine James, they help out the Western A. I'm telling you right now, when people say, you didn't, you, I'm telling you as a person who took a big pay cut for the team, Think like the owners. The owners don't want to take a pay cut for you. So why are you taking a pay cut for their business? Let, if they, want to, they want to win just as you. So let them figure, figure out how to run their business. That's their business too. But that's what I'm saying. As, as players, we're not thinking about it from a business, business standpoint. standpoint. We're thinking yep. about winning. And that's mm-hmm. what and they that's- know. <laughs> they know we want to win. It's like, now nah, he ain't thinking about the business of it. Uh-huh. He thinking about, man, if we get Antoine Jameson, we got mm-hmm. a chance to win. Well, because it deals with the part, the emotional side on your side, because you're going to be the, the lawyers. lawyers from the media. Yeah. Rashad don't want to win. He, yeah. you know, look, all of that. But yeah. now you got to read that shit, watch it, Sports <laughs> Center, and see everybody, radio and all that stuff, <laughs> walking and, down the street, kids looking at you, are you a loser, dog? You don't want to win. Hey, <laughs> and, and Antoine has to have a conversation with you, like, man, you ain't trust me enough to, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really think I could help you win. And that's and that's and that's the only problem with the, the the just players. We grow up playing the game, and for the most part, that's all we want to do. Like we start talking numbers and shit. Like no, I just want hoop, just man. Hoop. <laughs> and a lot more players are saying that now. They're like, man, I just want to hoop. The PJ Tucker shit. I just want to hoop, bro. Just let me go out on the floor. What y'all doing? Y'all fucking with my shit. And if I wanted to think about money now, I'm like, why did I come here? I would have did some other shit. Like I wish. Hey, look, if if y'all think. Players is this selfish. Someone in the media asked PJ Tucker, pay ten thousand dollars and I'll put you in a game. Mm. You be dead. I mean, what? There you go. <laughs> put me in, coach. Shit. I get there 20 minutes? Go. Hell yeah, be out there, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Woo, it'd be happy he paid that 10. And, and I'll fuck. pay 10 more to yeah, get you 10 I, more. Shit. Minutes. That's what I'm on. saying. Like, mm-hmm. dudes just like you think people train all day just to sit there. Nah, from, from the number one dude to the 15 dude, everybody wanna play. I I, yeah. I don't like the illusion that you just think people like, like some dudes don't want to go out there and really give it the effort. For sure. For the most, but for the most part, man. Dudes want to hoop. Hoop. Thanks. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that uh, PJ Tucker situation. Let me let the production crew. We're, we're curveballing here, but so yesterday we talked about PJ uh, situation with the Clippers. We have some news to report on that front. A tweet. Hey from man, Charles. that's hey the set looked hot. 
right there, man. I ain't going to lie. You look nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's nice up there. And shit. Mm-hmm. This is how we do good. We, we are on the fly. We keep things moving. You up top. We got it. So uh, amid three months of frustrations, P.J. Tucker will be away from the Los Angeles Clippers to re- oh, sure. reset mindset, expected to join the team after the All-Star break, sorts of say. And then uh, Sean followed that up with not only did the Clippers send home P.J. Tucker, but Bones Highland and P.J. Tucker uh, were sent home from their road trip against the Warriors tonight. Both are expected to rejoin the team after the All-Star break. <laughs> <laughs> See, they both, they both probably relayed the same type of energy at Sitting the same right time. Sitting right next to each other. Right next to each other. These whole ass niggas. Fuck these niggas, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm with him. Yeah, I'm with him. Woo! So both y'all niggas go on. Listen, when you miserable, trust me, you can find another miserable yeah, person boy. on the team with you, boy. <laughs> oh, you feel the same way? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you ain't going with shit. Yeah, yeah me shit, me either. Huh? It's ever happened before? What, send players send home? Send players home? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Bones, when he was with the Nuggets, I think they sent him home. They don't fly commercial. This is second time. This is wow. the second. That's really this is his cool. second time. That's what on, he told me that story. I was heartbroken. It made you <sighs> come on, young fella. Fly commercial. Oh. Oh. So now that's gonna become his mo his on every team. Like he gonna be yeah, disgruntled. Really? Disgruntled. Disgruntled. disgruntled yeah, by I playing don't time. Don't like that the team did that. Mm-hmm. So, so especially since it's already happened in before. Now yeah. they're like. It's, 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 it's him. Ooh, I hate it's when, a him I thing. hate when teams do that shit. That so shit, Bones and PJ Tucker have been stacking DMPs, uh, and after the trade deadline, PJ Tucker put this up on his IG story. <laughs> Just a black screen. <laughs> All this shit is a fucking joke. No, he could have been watching Netflix. We don't know. <laughs> could, could not be basketball related. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, no, chat, future players, future players, you got two, you got two roads in this, in this, in this game. Right, grateful and priv- unprivileged. Right, right. No, grateful. What is it? Grateful and ungrateful. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Grateful and ungrateful. <laughs> the correlation. Unprivileged. <laughs> no, 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 I was trying to meet you. Know, Yo, this is. No, we got to let him cook. Sometimes you just got to let him cook. Let him figure it out. He gonna get it. No, that didn't sound right. Let me go back. Sometimes I. Hey, listen. Listen. Sometimes I cook. Sometimes eggs get burnt. Right there, that was the eggs got burnt. You got a bag. You got a bag. You are our Steve Ballmer, so we just let you ride. Listen, I fried. I kept it on too long. My bad. You got throw it away. Throw it away. You are our Steve Ballmer. We're just trying to make the road trip. We, right? just, we are trying to do so, you know, <laughs> like you, you, you know who you are as a player, right? You, you know, right? You started all 75 games last year. You averaged 3.5, right? Mm-hmm. You know you wasn't really a starter. Just the, the situation you was in, you got the start, right? This year came back. You wasn't a starter. You wasn't playing much. You got traded. You're not playing much. You can be you or you can be Greek the Freak Brother. Mm. <laughs> Think about the pride of like the Like he ain't PJ. got no name, yo. His name is Tenassi. Tenassi, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to fuck <laughs> it up. Greek the freak Tenassi. brother. I didn't, I didn't want to fuck it up, so I that's just. Are you Giannis, brother? Giannis, brother, get that's in. That's his name, though. I was, you were Greek brother. I was waiting for you no, to no, say it so brother. I could be like Tenassi, right? Giannis, <laughs> brother, get in. He's an older brother, right? Yeah, he's older. He's an older brother. Or you can, or, or, or you can act he's like, like Doughboy. He's like Doughboy and Boys in the Hood. So you can act like the Nassis, right, and be happy you are in the fucking NBA playing, enjoying. If the Nassis asked me right now as an owner, hey, you know, I think I'm worth five million. As much as I want to, like, like, I can be like, if I got to pay somebody five million, the Nassis will be paid five million before you, PJ. I'm sorry, the, how he presents himself, I know he's not going to poison the rest of the team. Well, the, the NASA is not 15 years in, though. But he's not going to poison the team. Uh, no, he ain't got a reason to. Yes. Well, no, he does. No, he does Nigga, you ain't never playing? No, the NASA is you, but you ain't never done nothing. But you somebody's brother. I'm P.J. Tucker from Texas. And what you have you done? I went, I've, I've proven myself to be this guy. I've won championships here. I've helped people uh, win championships here. I'm a... Fear defender. I mean, I'm a hustle owner. player. I do the things I do. I've earned my stripes. Yeah. I've earned my name. Mm-hmm. I'm not out here bullshitting, saying shit that I'm just saying just because I'm the Nassis. Mm-hmm. I'm just happy to be here because my brother over mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's PJ Tucker I mean, at this I feel end like of the, the day. The only reason why he's this disgruntled is there's maybe a conversation behind closed doors. 
that's not panning out, and Talk now he's it. like feeling away. Yeah, he has not played since November 29th. Because he's not even the type of dude to, to do something like that. I, I, okay, he don't want to keep look, moving look, them shoes all no, over no, the country. No, what I'm saying. <laughs> he don't want to keep moving them I, shoes. I, I, I'm saying this, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, let's just be let's just be honest with ourselves as just hoopers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You average you averaging 1.2 this year. Mm. Last year, 3.5. The year before that, 7, 2, 3, 7. seven. Like, the, those ain't starter numbers, but you've been starting because of how you play. You, you should be more of the Nasses than acting like James Harden, is all I'm saying. But the Nasses ain't even getting them numbers. I, I'm right. pretty sure the, Na the Nasses average more than 1.2. The Nasses, Sham God, Spun, mm. He that. did hit uh, the Hornets with the just, Sham God. Just saying. And in no, reference to with PJ Tucker, a PJ Tucker, you ain't gonna put the Nasses in the game fourth quarter and say go guard LeBron James. Not nah, guilty. The Nasses, uh, yep, they averaging about the same. <laughs> one, one point. No, <laughs> but point what five saying, assists, but what point is, four rebounds. What I'm saying is, you have a choice. You can be PJ Tucker the way you are right now, and they sending your ass home. You are a veteran. This looks worse on your resume now. You was a champion. You, you, now you get, you, you're disgruntled, you're looking, and they sending you home. That means the number one, number two team is so upset with how you probably are acting that they don't want, they don't want you near. It's prima donna and it's The damn donna. Clippers yeah, no. are saying they don't want you. The Clippers. The Clippers, if we had to put a woman to the Clippers, Larson Pippen. <laughs> That's who you are. You are ran through, you are the bottom of the barrel. Okay, okay Gil. Who? Gil. That's who you are. Just the oh, fact. Yeah. Gardening tool. Oh, yeah. Right? Gardening tool, use tool, whatever you tool you want to use, mm. you are it. Mm. Right? So you calling PJs a hoe? No, I'm calling the Clippers themselves. And you are being disgruntled on that team? That's when you be like, oh, come on, man. No, not them. That's like getting sent home from... The Pistons, right? Oh, that's Come like on. that's like oh, being a, no that's way. like being you know one of the good looking guys and the work just don't want to be fucking with the ugly no, niggas. No, you you're fucking with the ugly niggas you, and I'm right here. You talking about? I'm, I'm in saying, the gym. I got the muscles and you over here talking you, to the skinny niggas. Like, I'm right here. Like if you got sent home from like you got sent home from like the Warriors organization or the uh, Lakers or even Boston, we be like okay. Okay, I mean, you know, they got a winning franchise. You know, they don't want that type of environment around them. The Clippers? No. That's just be about... So, they, the Clippers? Yeah, that's like you sent home from the Redskins. Well, let me really? Ask, <laughs> let me ask you this. Commanders. Who was in charge of the dismissal? Was it Ty Lue? Mm. Hell yeah. Or did it come from players. upper management? Or did it come from the players? I don't no, think it was players. No, I, don't think, I think the players no, respect PJ no, enough no. to know why he's upset. But I think it had to be... A it got to be, man, fuck Ty Lue, man. Mm. Fuck that nigga. That, I'm pretty sure that's what, but that's what I'm fuck saying. Fuck with that nigga like that. Fuck yeah. him. Hey, you come and over here both. talking that shit, I might put yeah. my hands on your ass. Bones is like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll help. Yeah, Let's yeah, jump yeah. him. And Let's uh, jump him. That's the problem. <laughs> Let's <laughs> jump him. <laughs> and that's the problem. You're not on a team where you can do that. Right. You're on a team where they're trying to build now. Yeah, they're right. in a situation trying they, to build. They, they but that's what I'm saying. But that's one of the last teams that will send you home because they used to disgruntle. Right. This team, they like, nah, dog. Nah, we turn a corner. We turn in a corner. Yeah. Get on yeah, out of yeah, here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you probably been disgruntled in Philly and that, but they wasn't in a position to see. They these dude sent you home, homeboy. Even the wording, to, to reset mindset. Nah, because it's probably like, <laughs> we, look, imagine, I'm with, I'm with the Timberwolves like, and they telling me that they Rodney Cardney is in front of me. Rodney mm -hmm. Cardney's playing in front of me and, and Kurt Schneider and Corey Brewer. I'm killing these niggas every day and I'm trying to figure out how to get back in the rotation. Mm -hmm. and here, You're doing everything you, you can do, shoddy. They're just playing good in front of me. We still losing, motherfucker. What you talking about? Right? So PJ, like, well, I'm trying to have conversations with motherfuckers to find out how to even get in the rotation, and he's brushing me off. Nah, man, I'm cool. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta worry about it. That nigga mad. He's but upset. At, you, but at, okay, you, you in your 20s, bro. All 20 roles is like that. Right in the locker room, the Nick Young, the Bajvet, that we get that, we get it. You, the, the hunger of wanting to play, we get the attitude. Thirty-eight, bro. Communication though. Thir I, you if 30 I want to have a conversation with you at thirty-eight, me and you, Ty Lue, let's have a conversation. And you on some, 
Nah, we ain't. We, we got nothing to talk know, about. But we don't even know. We just know 38, you ain't playing right now because we can't. Where are we going to use you? Where are we going to use you? We're already small. You're right. You're right. We're already undersized. I can't put you in. You're right. I can't have Kawhi at the five. That's not sorry. So go ahead, sit down. Be a good vet. This will let you know he ain't a good vet in... Not overall, we know you're not a good vet in this situation right now because you have another dude yeah. that's going to yeah. with you. Yeah, he feel the same way, though. So, but it don't matter. You're supposed to be talking to the young dude. Right? When I was disgruntled going back to Washington, I had a choice. Right? I had a choice. And when I seen John Wall, you can ask John Wall to this day. Yo, home, my, my problem with them is not my problem with you. Whatever you need from me, I'm here for you. Shoes, numbers, uh, relationships with people, right? I can teach you the game, give you this before they get rid of me, right? M me and you, 100. Yep. Like my little brother, I'm going to treat you like my little brother. I'm going to protect you as much as I can. M my attitude with them is on a whole different level. And that's, your problem is with coaching staff. You shouldn't be, you know, like, Bones Highland shouldn't be suspended with you, man. He's yeah. still trying to get his 15 years this in. Is so you fucking up, him fucking up, especially if he's following you. Right. You're supposed to be in L.A., man. Don't follow my footsteps. PJ. Huh? It's going to affect Bones more than P.J. It is. But, I mean, P.J. is 38. If you're not in the league next year, you, you done lived your career. You a champion, yep. right? You, you a hard worker. You're going to go down as one of the dude, the grit and grind type of players. He done. And this is his second time. This is PJ first yeah. time. So PJ ain't really never. Now, that's what I said. When it comes to PJ, we like, we get, we, like, it's easier to feel for PJ because, like, we get it, bro. You, you, you know, you 75 games last year. You a winner. You just want to go out there and you just want to win help and the help the team. Mm -hmm. We get it. So we really can't really throw any dirt on you as a, a person, right. right? Because we know this is coming from more of a competitive spirit, yep. right? But they can easily say, Yo, Bones, man, fuck on out of here. Strike two. So the, the other part, interesting part is P.J. Tucker making 11 mil this season, has a player option for 11.5 million. Bones Highland only making 2.3 mil. <sighs> Inevitably, people are going to make their own decisions. But, yeah, when you have those type of situations, even for you, Gil, talking about your relationship with John Wall, I'm just curious from an organizational standpoint, if you putting them up on game, they may have frowned upon that. No, but it's because of how they were viewing you. With no, 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 no. Yeah, cool. But the the viewing of when you know you ask about a coach, like nah, good coach is good. Like I'm not throwing no dirt because right. I don't want him to be jaded by my experience. For sure. My experience and what I went through wasn't my experience. Right. I had a wonderful time here. This was an amazing place. I messed up and they had to react. So I can't say because how I feel now, that's who they are. That's not who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, Tommy Shepard, that was my guy. You know, Grunfield, that was my guy. They laced me down. This organization has been great for me. Right. So I'm going to treat them with the same respect that you should. Yeah. For sure. Right. And even, even when I was on the bench in, in um, Golden State, right? sitting on the bench, and I'm going through the negative mentality. Man, these motherfuckers ain't playing me this. And um, Mark Jackson, big Mark Jackson from Philly, you know, Jack was like, yo, no, nah, no, nah, that's not how we, this not how we do, bro. We cheer for our teammates. Yeah. We work out. We work. We do this and do that. And when they call our name, which they're going to call our name, we be ready to play. Professional. You, you sit over here, like, he be like, look, here, point, look at this dude. He ain't never going to get in. Excited. You know what I mean? I had to, like, think about it, but now, imagine if I didn't sit to Mark Jackson, I sat next to this dude. Right. Who drunk all day, sitting there talking shit, right? That would have been me. Misery loves company. Company. It loves company as well. Company as well. <laughs> we got a question from the audience. Nigga drunk. He only second drunk. <laughs> Related to this topic. So, Josiah mentioned the $11.5 million player option for P.J. Tucker. If you're in his position or what do you think he'll do go for that next year or potentially retire? Mm. <laughs> go ahead, Lex. Go ahead, Lex. Let him know, Lex. What you gonna do, Lex? I'm taking the money. <laughs> Y'all want me to reset my mindset? I'm a, I ain't reset, reset this direct deposit, though. Let's keep this company option. in. Y'all better play me a little bit next season, goddammit. Y'all gonna, I'm gonna force y'all hand. So that's a player option, right? So that means finish the season out, right? So after this season, he has the option now to get that another that 11 means finish the season out, right? Or buy me out, but I'm getting my bread. Right, so if they buy him out, what's going to be that buyout? 
At this I, point, if it's like that bad to the point where it's like, y'all just buy me out and I might be able to get to a team by the end of the season, by the time playoffs start. Now, if that doesn't happen, do I cut the shit, buy into the whatever's happening, sit on the team and woo-woo-woo until the end of the season? I'll just take the bread in the summertime and y'all... Okay, y'all first of all, yeah. I'm going to be miserable. I'm just, I'm just, I got the rest of this year miserable. Free, uh, the summer hits... I'm going to opt into my 11 million because I ain't no dummy. I ain't no dive. It's one point this year. If I go into the free, <laughs> free agency yeah, market, $5. I might get lower than a venture million. <laughs> they might make you pay some money. No, you so want to be on this team? So you right? he, don't, he don't take that player option, then they're going to be like, oh, you definitely not playing. Damn, yeah, I'm, like, I'm going to take that player option, give me my 11, and I'm going to be miserable next year, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> back to back miserable year. That's what we wasn't talking about in the chat. Right? That's the information that we didn't really yeah. have. Mm-hmm. So the context of that make more sense for him to, hey, I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to opt in. And then I'm going to retire. The, the funny part, the, the fucked up part about it is the, what he's doing this year, that should be him next year. Right. right chilling. Right. Like, no, being disgruntled because they can buy me be, out. No, oh, because no, then you go, you're going to be a free agent. A right? free agent. I'm not even a free agent. <laughs> Locked unless, I'm here. This is where unless, I'm at. Unless, unless he thought that he can play, win a championship, and then he has 11 million left, he opts out of it and then sign like a two year deal yeah. for like two year 20. Nah, he's not getting that much more at that 38. Two year 20, like, you know what I mean? Like, get a two year 20, two year 17, right? It's a six more million than what he had guaranteed. You can try to pull one of those, but to That's th- probably why he's so mad. Maybe he, had a, he thought he was going to have an opportunity to maybe extend to get his more? career. To get more? I mean, 11.5? Listen. 11.5 is a lot of 11.5 now. You got 11 this and then 11 point. Boy, you a boy. You don't sit your ass yeah. down. You need a little. You need a well, cheering people. Damn. Well, let's keep our asses moving <laughs> with some hibachi time. 11.5, boy. Sit. <laughs> I know he sent me home. I guarantee you, he took a private. <laughs> Come Man. on, Bowles, I got this. I got this. We good. They on Bo- they go Bowles the walking with him like he to work. You better stop this shit, Bowles, man. Stop following That's PJ. Back. That's Come back. on, PJ. Where we going? I got the shoes. I'm we going to shoes. LA. I got the shoes in the back. Come did, on, you, did you get the Nikes or the Jordans, man? Come on, Bowles. Kobe. Oh, that's fucked up, man. They sent them both home, so you know one was the work. So. 100%. Uh, and moving on to Hibachi Time, <laughs> presented by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, already, download the app. Use promo code GILL. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. <laughs> so we're going to talk about some small market teams because we show love to everybody on this show, and it's Valentine's Day. TNT celebrated Shaq's jersey retirement by giving the Magic their first home national TV game since 2013. <laughs> so last time the Orlando Magic played a regular season national TV game, that's TNT or ESPN, at the Amway Kia Center, uh, March 25th, 2013. That game got flexed because Miami was on a historic 26-game win streak. <laughs> Only two players who suited up are still in the league. That's LeBron and Tobias Harris. And Jet Howard's father, Juwan, played for the Heat. All that's great. And shout out to Shaq for getting the jersey retired. But the Thunder came into town and spoiled the evening. So... Jalen Williams had his second straight 30-piece, dropping 33 points while shooting 66% from the field. And SGA dropped 32 points and five dimes as well. I'm really rolling with this under squad. Look at Jalen. Nice little young team, man. I like, I like him a lot. So, yeah, Jalen Williams. And they make TikTok. Shout out Santa Clara. And they do make TikTok, and they are snazzy. But they, the Thunder don't have many national TV games either. Two and a half to go. Ben. Ooh, I knew it. <laughs> and you can see that shit coming. Gabe, get Gabe y'all, Paolo Ben the bucket out of here. and told the Magic fans where they can go. Go home or they home. Damn. But that's even more disrespectful because it was Shaq's jersey retirement, which was held after the game. So if I was Shaq, I would take that as a slight young fella. Mm-hmm. Like, no, they can't go home. They got to <laughs> stay, gotta stay here and watch V. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so SJ and Williams are the first pair of Thunder teammates with back-to-pack 30-plus point games since KD and Westbrook back in 2013. Mm-hmm. Thunder are game out of first in the West and will more than likely end their playoff drought this season unless some catastrophic happens. But how much faith do you have in this Thunder squad in the playoffs? Give them some smoke, Gil. I like this team a lot. Listen, 
This is the MVP. I'm sorry. Uh, Shay? Shay is the MVP this year. Okay. And here's why. There's not a veteran on that team that has any experience of winning. This is him pushing this 22, 23, 24-year-old team, has them in a position to be the number one, two, three seed, right? Denver, those are vets. Right? You expected vets to win and understand how to win. You don't expect a young team. If this team was if this team was 10th, nobody would be saying nothing. No. Nope. Right? Because you expect that. So the fact that they are in the position that they are and the young fella is carrying and having these, uh, these other young players playing like they are veteran, that is fucking MVP. Mm-hmm. So now um, Jokic and Shea. Shay, like, you know what I mean? This ain't even no contest. I don't care oh, what it is. Luka. Like, Luka and Shay. Luka huh? and Shay. Like, even, even as I said, Luca, you still, you got a Kyrie. You got yeah. a Tim Hardaway. You have veterans on your team. This team don't have nobody with no fucking experience. See, that's why I don't interrupt you. Because <laughs> like, you started y'all, off. Y'all been bonded you started off. Today. He started off kind of rocky. I'm like, nigga, what? Luca. <laughs> Luka is, and then you know he made. That's a great fucking point. I'm just going off. It's a of great the, like, fucking point. Man, like, you can't you can't go wrong right. with that point. Like the it's age, team. the way he's playing, he's playing like a leader. Mm-hmm. He's like, elevated he, everybody. He's everybody, and he he's found out ways to mitigate quarter scoring. First quarter scoring yesterday, uh, the, the last game they had, he had 15 in the first quarter. Mm-hmm. Now he can slow roll second, third quarter, come back in the fourth, get my 30. Jalen Williams, he knows the assets. He knows who can blow, blow up for him. Mm-hmm. He know when to use Chet, how to throw the lives to him, and, and, and that propels Chet to play defense yeah. and rebound. He's starting to learn that, and I think that not only him learning from other people in the league, because Vince was talking, oh, no, no, it wasn't Vince. Um, it was another player who was talking about how when they played with him in, in L.A., that he was just a sponge mm-hmm. trying to learn from all the older players. And when you got an opportunity to lead a young team and you see what he's doing and they're one, two, what, 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 what are they? They are two. second in the West right now. Who's a game out of first place. I know, I'm on. Who's first? Uh, Timberwolves. So that's, oh, so that leaves Denver at third. So we talked about yeah. uh, the Timberwolves yesterday. Timberwolves. They, have a little, they have more playoff experience than the Thunder. Thunder had a playoff drought. But again, how much faith do you have in this Thunder squad in the playoffs? So I think despite not having that experience, this team... Like, I don't listen... The, the, the youth is no different than Sacramento and um, last year yep. and, you know, um, Grizzlies, right? They're a young team. Um, so winning in the playoffs, you know, star power, experience will get the best of them. I don't have them winning championship or going to the Western Conference Finals. No, if they get out of the fi- first round, they should because, you know, they might play a bottom scene. But if they play a goddamn Lakers or, or a fucking Golden State, that's a problem for them. Yeah. Because you're going to have, you, yeah, you know what I mean? So you're going to have, you're playing against veterans, players who's been there before. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they will have the advantage over you. But I know for damn sure th- they, they got the MVP this year. I'm sorry. So I would just tell you this. If the season ended today, which it does not, but this is a good hypothetical, uh, Thunder would be the two seed. They would play either the Mavs or Kings, who are seventh and eighth right now. And we're meeting that playing. I, 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 like I, I love playing the Kings. Listen, they like can play. They can beat the Kings. Yeah, they can beat the Kings. Mass. I don't. I mean, Luke and Kyrie in the playoffs. I feel the other way. I feel the other way around because I watched the Kings last night, and the Kings. Sabonis is playing out of his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Sabonis is playing. He underrated as fuck. Like that triple doubles. The way he gets it. Fox and Monk. The way they play. Herder, Murray. The way they come on. Yeah. Like, and then Barnes is just out there. Wiggins. He's just. Yeah, you never and know. Barnes can like randomly have like a forty ball. <laughs> right, and then like you said with the Mavs though, them not getting another piece like Dan Witty, missing out on getting another guy that can actually be a third score for them. I think that hurt them. Yeah, but what's that? I mean, PJ Washington, Daniel Gafford, both in playing side. Yeah, yeah, I like mm-hmm. both. Of them. You know, I'm saying good, good young pieces. But let's just even move it forward. If they did advance past either those uh, Kings or Mavs squads. They would likely be seeing the Clippers in that second round, mm. which, you know, I would put my bread on the Clippers, but I would not be surprised if the Thunder. No, no, they're giving. Listen, they're gonna give everybody a run for the money because they play, 
they play smart. Like, it's not like the way Shea plays, it ain't forced. He's playing in his, his element, and everybody else is feeding. So yeah. you don't have the selfishness of, like, let's say, um, Spurs, right? The, we don't, they don't have the selfishness to try to go for their own and do all a whole bunch of erratic behavior when, you know, when they feel the game is getting out of hand. They're playing to whatever Shea is playing to. Yep. They're taking the shots, right? They got two lead dogs with, with Jalen and Shea, and they're, they're all playing around those two, and they're getting in where they fit in, yep. which is making them dangerous. You don't ha- you're not going to have 30-something turnovers and a bunch of erratic shots. That's not how they're playing. They're playing controlled basketball for a, a group of young players. It's crazy. Yep. You know, it's crazy to watch. So Sam Presti has been playing uh, some, so the long game, playing some chess, got a ton of first-round picks, got a ton of young players right now. But how important is it for the Thunder to keep this young core together after all the years of bad hoops that OKC fans have been experiencing? I don't think it's a lot of bad hoops more than them just staying in rebuilding stage. Like the Tulsa shock um, for years when they had the D League was ultimately their converter. The way that they um, developed players coming out of there uh, was a uh, a tribute to where they are now, where they got guys that came, you know, at, at least for Shea, Shea coming from the Clippers and them actually taking an investment into that and him panning out to be the player he is. And they're going through the draft, you know, being able to go through, get Chet, you know, get certain players that actually compliment. Jalen Williams, Case and Wall, I mean, they, they've made some great moves, great pick, Jay, you know, both Jalen Williams. Giddy, Giddy's, Giddy's, I think, is a great complimentary yeah. player that, that fits a piece. It can be, you know, a, a, a wild card for them. I think they, they've, they've always done good business. I think that's what the thing that's different for them compared yeah. to everyone else. But struggling o- over the years comes with not having a star player. Which yeah, the, really they've got their, their role field now. But so. now, like, now that they're seeing like, the fruits of their labor through all these like, down years, now, now, that, now, there's, now window has developed. Yeah. So now what they have like what, three, four years to like, make, I don't know, finals or championship with this group without maybe one more like vet star but now like they didn't have a window now there's a window so now we have those conversations of keeping the guys together like how, are they gonna win are they gonna get to the finals so i mean that's a different type of pressure that they haven't experienced yet so this first year of playoffs is going to be really good for them and hope i think they're going to get out of first round no matter who they face. I agree and, and i agree with you i think that window reminds me of kind of the thunder teams of oh with hart and kd westbrook just watching like how exciting electrifying that squad is how they're all playing for each other mm-hmm. but now as we see you know some dudes want a bigger piece of the pie more bread mm-hmm. want to be be the guy mm-hmm. so this is kind of the problem you run into with these young teams as they start to reach that level mm-hmm. well you say like with the the three-headed monster with Harden and them they all at 25 Thousand plus now points. All were all MVPs. 20, was, 25 know, and ups. All was it? That is crazy. They all it's incredible. MVPs. They all but, MVP, but that but, see, but they wouldn't have been. See, they wouldn't have been. If, yeah. They wouldn't have been. They would have probably been champions. They probably the most likely they would have been champions because there would have been really no Golden State because they would have had to go against them the whole time. Yeah. Um. But it's crazy how as a player. You go into the free market and you're looking at this team and this other team, Houston throws you a bag and then you turn into a whole demon out there. Yeah. How, that's how much you was holding back. Yeah. yeah. For a championship. And it was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then say, hey. what we were talking yeah. about earlier. Like, think about it. It's four mi- Listen, look what you was, they couldn't pay you four more million and then you're asking for four more million. They say, no, a whole nother team gave you a max. You're taking the pay this pay bullshit six man contract mm-hmm. to stay here and out of the Tense. wind <laughs> max them and then boom a couple years later MVP scoring title. But but even greater than that, right? He goes and then this other nigga go. I'm left here. Yeah. And watch me get triple double triple three. <laughs> like what the fuck? But like all of a sudden I'm triple double king out but, of nowhere. But that that should let you know that like just for the viewers themselves to understand what type of talent sits on teams, right? You got a six man who they're purposely putting as a six man so can they can keep his value people. down. He leaves in that same dude as James Harden. Lead the league in scoring, assists, MVP, run up the MVP. That same dude was coming off the bench for a reason. Then you got one dude who's an MVP, the franchise. 
He gets hurt, he leaves, and then the second option, triple double, triple double, MVP. Like that's that's what that's sits insane. on bitches. So when we when we sit here saying, yo, this dude is that dude, and y'all be like, well, his that he averages 22.4. Wait a little per, bit. <laughs> you know, the, his what's the name and his, his ERL and his what's the name? <laughs> <laughs> you start adding shit like yo, dog. No, the nigga can hoop. Fuck what he you can talking hoop. about? I, sure. His stats might not say this right now, but dude got that bop on him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> y'all and then mm-hmm. the one guy that actually was the the prodigy. Goes and wins two championships for the guys who fucked it off. So KD going up there, we expected KD to do what he was doing, and he go and go actually win. <laughs> so it's like, damn, like we can breed champions, mm-hmm. scoring champs, triple double motherfuckers, three MVPs out of and three MVPs coming out of Oklahoma City, mm, eating mm, at mm, Applebee's. Mm. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, Joe. <laughs> so, I mean, Try weekly. <laughs> All right, let's, let's shift it back to the East now. The Heat were without Jimmy Butler for their road game Tuesday night in Milwaukee. Uh, but second year player Nikola Jovic and Bam Adebayo had the Bucks going back down memory lane. Uh, Jovic dropped a career high 24 points, including a career high five three pointers, and Bam added a triple double, finishing with 16 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists in the blowout win. They got their number. No Jimmy Butler. And they got smacked. That's crazy. From Milwaukee. Hey, what that defense that again? You, you remember you? <laughs> Wait, I know, y'all know you were gonna, uh, you know, if there's one thing you do. Look at that, man. Nah, look at that. Mm. Mm. Now, can you rewind that? Let me see. This is the difference. Now, rewind that last play right there. Back into the left. On that dig, man. On that dig. You know what I mean? Look at that. Uh, yeah, come got, on, Giannis. Yeah. Nah, that ain't his defense. Sheesh. Nah, look, he don't know what to do. Look at that. Oop. You're not gonna not fight that. over the top? Not come yet. on, man. Where's the sense of urgency? Uh-uh. Tyler Hero. Oh, my uh-uh. Lord. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know that. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. come on, Brooke. That's a closeout, Brooke. That's a... Where that post up? I want that post up. Oh, oh okay, Giannis. Come this on, is Giannis. a bench player, Giannis. Uh, he right goes. here. Right? 24. 24. Look what Kevin Love... Is that Kevin Love out there, That's old Kevin ass? Love, yep. Look, you supposed to dig this out. Drew Holiday would have dig that out. That's, that's the difference. Steal. But that's a full rotation, that's right? That's a steal. Is that nah, a full? Hell no, nah, you can get back. That's how no, the hero's next. No, nah, because it's a road. Uh, no, that's Beasley. No, no, no. We leaving High Smith in the corner. No, what I'm no, saying he's is I don't. Trying to recover. Be trying to recover. Look, look, he's so far. But how you he's gonna do? You, you digging? You say get it all the way out. I'm gonna dig and get back. I mean, don't disrespect Kevin Love like that. I don't mean. I don't. I don't. That look. That it's Kevin Love. Like, I mean, if you want to, but are we going? Are we going to get it? I'm going. I'm going to dig it out and then get back. Cause Kevin Love gonna have to take one dribble to get in. Double. So it's a dig and get recovered. It's a dig recovered. Look out, but that's right. what I'm saying. Look talking too much about digging out Kevin Love for my particular taste on this Valentine's Day. Grow up. Whoa. Grow up. I'm just telling you. Grow up. I'm just telling you. Grow up. I'm just telling you. Kevin Mason. Show respect between, to the legend. So it's, Kevin Love and Tyler Hero, I'm going to leave Kevin Love. Only because he look the, the he's Not because, far. No disrespect. Be, just because he's he's far away, like that yeah. that is that is real okay. deep is range. Are you shooter. faking it? Are you faking and getting back as Pat Pat Bev? If if Pat knows it, he got to get higher. Like I'm getting like that's what I'm saying. I'm digging that out. So the fact that he dribbled through that and just. Just right, all the way in the lane. He yeah, like through you, the lane. Like he, like, he, he ain't passing his ball no, out not. once he put that ball down. You got to go aggressive. That, that's Drew Holiday, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's no, yeah, right there, right there, right there. Yeah, you got to go Drew, get that. Like, yeah, go look, Drew Holiday's, yeah. Make Drew Holiday's getting that out of there. Yeah. But that's the difference Drew between. Drew not even letting him take but, a dribble. That's what I said. Between a scheme and players. That's why I said players, they wasn't a good defensive team, but there was one guy, well, two. There was two guys that understood little simple stuff like this. No, look, he can't play no defense. Giannis, you the weak man. You ain't gonna block this shot. Nope. But, but the bad defense start. Go back. The, the 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 bad defense starts with Bobby Portis allowing him to go middle. Yeah. No middle. Well, I'm I mean, pushing him baseline. I mean, technically, look, look. The help when he when you look, you see where the I help is. I'm on your help. Right he look, look, look. I'm on your now, help. Now Giannis is there, help. right? Right. Giannis so at this point, I'm about to shade him baseline because okay. Giannis is gonna be my low guy. Giannis is at the low guy. We both meet him at the corner. He only has the corner pass at that point. But right? as I said, if he quick, if he does a quick, if he does a quick move right there, Giannis can't get there. Well, but that's why you don't go shade baseline yet. Keep going. But that's what I'm saying. I, 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 
Not right he here. Can't see, he jab, can't see where Giannis is. Jab, at. Yeah, right? To stay. See, see, he can't see where Giannis is. That's at. just no, bad 24 defense. Twenty-four was too far away. Yeah, and he did just bad defense altogether. And the fact that Kevin Love had nineteen on your defense, something wrong yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. No, that's very accurate and reasonable. Yeah. For the former UCLA bro. <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but he you know, Doc, 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 Doc went in there for all uh, defense. But so they were celebrating that last win and then got their ass trashed. Yep. So was this win an example of heat culture or Doc Rivers culture? <laughs> no, this heat culture. I'm gonna give him, I'm not, listen, we already know what Doc is, right? <laughs> Scored another 97. Told you, it's his offense. He, the, the offense is bad. What Dame have? Because he had 18 last game. He didn't. I don't know. He ain't gonna play, listen, he ain't gonna he do well under that. Yeah, he played. played. Yeah, they all played. He mm. played, hold on, let me pull it up. Dame 16. Come on, 18 and 16. One win, a terrible loss. Mm. At some point, I'm looking for him to emerge as the, the superstar. Five for 14. You a superstar. He came. You a starter in the, in, the, in the All-Star game. You got, like, you a starter. Like, that's 25 plus every night. I'm not looking for nothing else. No excuses. You know, that, 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 that offense is not his anymore. I know. Man, I know. know, but I'm saying, you know, like, we made, but we made changes. You rock, yeah, you made changes. Yeah, you made changes. You bring in Doc. Doc's the offense is not made for the point guard. Man. I should it's not made for the point one, guard. It don't look huh? good. Not a scoring point guard. No, it's not a scoring point guard. Especially not a three-point shooter. No, oh, you're going to say But he's not even taking the shots that he was taking he for us to know who. Like, we know him to be him. Right? It don't, even if he's going through things off the court, right? Before those things emerge, it's almost like we still, we waiting for Dame time. Right? There's no Dame time. Doc is, it's Doc time. We've seen glimpses in the beginning. Like, well, yeah. like there you go. Age, 35, age 40. 40. Okay, if we can get Dame to be Dame out here with Giannis, it's over for everybody. It's looking like Dame, the coaching change. It does, Hurt him. It That's doesn't a, seem it, like Dame was with that. He wasn't. Because his game, I mean, obviously his off-court stuff, but his game has just went into free fall since they switched coaches. Yep, and it looked like he 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 can't really voice nothing past what he's already voiced because we already made the change. So now I got to deal with this nigga Doc. And then you brought Pat Bev over here? Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to ask. Does that seem like a, a, a relationship that could be mended? It probably is mended. It's probably good. Internally, but... he has to deal with Pat's antics now. And that's going to, like, Pat already took the clipboard. He I already took Pat, the board. I thought Pat Bev was a good pickup, but I didn't even consider that. Oh, yeah. I mean, defensively, he's a great pickup. Yeah. You know, team morale, great pickup. But if you're, dis if you're distracting something else, which is when I go out there and I do my thing, yeah. it puts a weight on the relationships. So Dame, uh, during the Doc Rivers area, he's played in eight of the nine games, averaging 21.4 points, 6.6 mm -hmm. .6 assists, 3.4 rebounds. Shooting percentages down, I think he's sub 30% from three. I'm going to take 20, 20 shots, 22, 15, 21, 24. And then since Doc, 13, 23, 11, 18, 18, 15, 14. So Bucks appear to be heading in the right direction, uh, winning their two previous games before this this game. Wait, what? <laughs> they, 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 they beat the Nuggets. He's triggering you. You fell for it. They beat the Nuggets. You fell for it. in the right direction? You fell for it. They won two games to beat the Nuggets, Gil. You fell for it. They're heading towards, heading towards the right direction. They, okay. they ain't going in the right direction. <laughs> they weren't there yet. They just turned around. They just, they, they turned around. At some point, God damn it, the sun hit them in the right direction. <laughs> How does the boat look when it's turning around? <laughs> May I host, please? At some point, it's going to point. <laughs> May I host on this Valentine's Day edition of Gil's Reader presented by Underdog Fantasy, where if you have not done so already, Download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo Gil, code Gil, and they'll match your. I got me fucking up. Hey, no, no. <laughs> hey, listen. I know someone. Hey, listen, I had five nice ass picks last night before the game. Giannis messed that up. Blame it on Giannis. I said it was going to be a struggle game for them. I didn't think he was going to get eight assists. I was for sure didn't think. Oh, you took the lower. I took the lower on the six point five because he only averaged four point nine against Miami. For sure. So you know I'm. Don't blame Doc. Blame Doc on y'all money, <laughs> or <laughs> he just don't play well against Bam, man. But for some reason, they wall it up, man. It's... So we, we talked about those two straight wins, including the win over the defending champ Nuggets. But as Brick Muse pointed out, uh, this stunning loss had the Bucks in prayer mode. Oh. <laughs> There's no prayer soakers after man, the game. I remember nah. that shit in college and high school, man. Well, come, then he come to Jesus meeting at half court. <laughs> Do they work after losses? 
Sometimes, yeah. No. Oh, no. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, you got this was after the game? That was after yes. the game. After the loss. They prayed. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Kumbaya. That's like college high school shit. <laughs> Kumbaya. But, Gil, uh, we talked about Damian Lillard. Is it concerning that Tyler Hero is taking more shots than Dame Lillard? I mean, Tyler Hero is the number one option over there, so he's going to take – he's yeah. taking all the shots, so that's not, that's not disrespectful. That's just what Tyler Hero's over there doing. But, uh, listen, I don't know what we – I don't – I don't know what more can we say. It's, it is what it is. Doc is over there. That's what. Look, they. That's who they wanted. That's who they wanted. They, the consultant. The consultant is now the coach, and this is y'all fault. So fuck off. So the question is, <laughs> question is, damn, mean spirited, give Valentine's Day. If Tyler Hero's number one option, mm -hmm. should Dane be the number one option? Because I, I really don't consider Giannis an option if he gets all his shit in transition well, it seemed like and off the, the glass. Well, it seemed like the season, Dame was the number one option, well, and that's why Giannis was like, I, I get, I get what you're saying. change this shit, right? Because if you make him the focal point of the offense, getting his, his motor going as the number one option, Giannis will still be able to get Giannis. Exactly. You're not stopping Giannis from getting Giannis because he's not really an option. Right. But you, just you would, Giannis. <laughs> yeah, you just, go, Giannis just go do your thing. thing. You would think that because of he had Blake Griffin, he will understand that the way Giannis scores is not in a structured setting anyway. Run and plays for him. Right? So that means your offense should be geared around more Dame, knowing that Giannis is going to find a way to score, right? Yep. Giannis is going to be Giannis. He's going to get the, he going to go, but when you're in a half court setting, your offense should be geared towards Dame? towards Dame and the rest of the team. It's like when you say Clippers bring in Jamal Crawford in the game, he mm -hmm. became the number one option when yep. he was in the game. And if he wasn't in the game, you had a guy like JJ mm -hmm. who could get a bucket in a half court set. That's really was who can get a bucket in a half court set if we're not just doing fucking freelance basketball, mm -hmm. which is what they look like they do. Freelance, just run it, pick and roll on the side. Brooke, I you mean, pop, Portland, you shoot. Every play was for Dame. Every, every time, every time down. Ball, go mm -hmm. run around a little bit, get it right back. Mm -hmm. Now he kind of just he might not get it. Fitted. But this, if you're a coach, man, if you're a coach, how hard is it to put a set in to the NBA? Hey, Dame, you know, give me three sets that you love. Yes. Like, right, give me three sets that you love, and we're gonna call those boom, boom, boom. So you know. To get you going. These man. are your shots, bro. Yeah. Do not pass these up. These are yours. Like, go. What, what's so funny is, it, and even though I don't like him as a coach, because just because it's people, bro, but he, he, great plays. Stan Van Gundy, when I was in Orlando, right, when our shooting guard, like, I didn't have no play. Uh, obviously, there was no play. It's just pick and roll or whatever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when Jay Rich Nim didn't play, Gil, zipper up ISO. There go. So when I was when I subbed in, you know, for Jameer, I was the point. When um, so that was my Jameer. I take out Jameer, Jameer. I never really played the two, so I never really unless the shooting guard was out. Then I was with Jameer. Yep. Then we never even had these plays. Zipper up ice. Mm. Like like me like me like you know what I mean. <laughs> like, it went from no plays, nothing, and then when when he needed buckets. Zip rub ice, Gil. We got Gil with a ring. Like it was that wasn't even a play for Jay Rich. Zip rub ice, right? Or JJ Redick. But he knew he had you. He, and knew, the, he knew he had me, and he likes ISOs, and he put that play in. Yep. So when you see I averaged twenty, they were like, "Oh, yeah, he scored twenty against these two teams." Yep. You look, Jay Rich wasn't playing in those games. Zip rub ice was <laughs> happening. <laughs> you know, so I mean, you have to be a smart coach too to understand that when you have certain type of players to put in offenses for them. Yep. You only need one or two plays, and that's that's good enough. Man. And you don't need Dame's whole playbook. One or two plays, he's fine. Man, zipper into the pick and roll at the high pick and roll. It's going to affect how he plays on the other side of the ball, maybe. Yes. You're going to get everyone else involved. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just shit. Hey, five, hey, think about this. When the dude go five for five, three for three, that boy, that defense is good, right? He, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, Flapping go. the floor and shit, <laughs> yelling. Hustling and shit. He's going, but listen, have you noticed you never slap, they never slap the floor off a defensive, they slap off a bucket. Yeah. Yes. Ha! Ah, let's go. Come back on now defense. you slap the floor. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, coach, don't, don't take me out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just give him a few. Okay, you were talking about Giannis and uh, scoring a, a lot of his points in transition. Giannis is currently second in the league in most points per game in transition with 7.5. Uh, 
I mean, you look at what Dame's got going on over there. Wait a minute, 7.5? 7.5 points per game in transition. Man, that's so off, dog. It's more than that? Gotta be. He, Never, he's averaging what's more than that. That's what I'm saying. But 7.5 means just because it's like a real fast break. A secondary break is still a fast break. Boom. Yeah. I will, Boom. I will call Adam Silver. <laughs> that means, is that what? No, first two passes in the break? Come down <laughs> the first, first to the corner, first, get it back? Yeah, first two passes are still considered. Uh, um, I will call Adam Silver. It's just not a set. Yeah, it's not a set. Like he don't. They, they, he's not scoring in set plays yeah. where all right, turn four or mm-hmm. boom. He's everything is just as you go. As you go, we come down and then swing, swing. He gets it and go. That's, yep. I will call that's Adam Silver and Mark Tatum to find out what a real fast break is. <laughs> <laughs> Can y'all fix this? Uh, this stat on the We got the transition and then fast break. There's, there's transition, secondary break. A sec- yeah, secondary break. Okay, our producers want you to know uh, mm-hmm. they find a stat to support you. Uh, you shit on the stat. That's part of the circle of <laughs> that we have here on this show. <laughs> but that's what makes this show. Is that you but, find and I still shit on it? <laughs> figure out a way. But wait a minute. Fast you, break is after a a defensive steal stop. Or a stop. Yeah, defensive stop, yeah. All right, well, let's show some love to our employer, Underdog Fantasy. Uh, whoop, whoop. We have 13 games on the slate tonight, so we're going to do some higher or lower. Uh oh. You already know. Oh, we see, back on it? Got the good ass oh, graphic. Oh, yeah. Got the good graphic. Oh, Look at them. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all been fucking up we for back a while. at it. They, they seen what others are doing with these million, dollar, these million dollar pickups. They say y'all get about $315. Mm-hmm. I won the <laughs> yeah, Super Bowl. I won million. They do the million. Like everybody won a million dollars? With the same, the same picks. It was mm-hmm. rather peculiar. Was little everybody little won with the same picks. <laughs> <laughs> a little weird. They got the text. They put it to me. They all celebrities. Hey, they pull it to me, huh? He wins. I pretend it's me. <laughs> That's fine, Gil. Okay? <laughs> These are my picks. That's America. <laughs> All right? That's different. We're always going to keep it real with y'all. We put our own bread up. If we lose it, we lose it. But we, yeah, I told you, I ain't got no, I ain't, I'm broke. I ain't got no money. Them little 50 cents I had before. Here you come holler at me. <laughs> you got to do the live pick for everybody out there. The live pick no, no. No. You see the trends of the game. What you mean? It takes forever to even refresh. And by the time it refreshed, you Wait lose all the TV timeouts. TV timeouts at halftime. TV time. I, I, I oh, get mastered the system. The they be switching every time. I be trying to like, but man, gotta, I hate this It be thing. like, sec- listen, it be like, they got six rebounds. They got, they need eight, right? It be the first quarter. Come on. You be like, Got it. <laughs> Immediately. He finishes with six. Like, come on. Bro, man. You have to ask yourself, is that nigga lazy? He's going to keep rebounding. Oh, no, man. Like, like, you want to talk about upset? That's how you get upset. <laughs> That's how you get they upset. start off real good. Right, I'm, I'm, then don't, don't like get nothing else. Information. I don't like giving this information away. But let's say a team is up by 15 or 20 points, but you have no faith in that team and holding the lead. That is the best time to get your pickups going. <sighs> And again, I'd be, it'd, be, it'd be like right there. I'd be like, all he needs is one and a half more assists, and it's the, the top of the third. Oh, yeah, hell. He got yeah. that. He got that. Oh, he got higher. The worst is, you know, when you, you know, you're say, taking a player who may or may not be the GOAT, and you're doing assists, and they throw a, a good no look pass behind their head <laughs> to another teammate, and the league decides that that's not an assist. Uh, you know, what? It's painful. It's painful. Ooh, that's all right, but painful. let's. 13 games on the slate. Let's go through some of the most interesting pick'em options on Underdog Fantasy. We're doing higher or lower. First game, Knicks at Magic. So let's dive into the numbers for the All-Stars in that game. First All-Star, Jalen Brunson, 28.5 points, higher or lower. He's playing who? Uh, playing Magic on, the, I think, the second night of a back. Yeah. Oh. Second in night Orlando? of a back. back. What's the score? What it, in what's, Orlando. What's, what's the? 28 and a half. So Jalen Brunson, 28.5 points higher or lower. The season is averaging 27.5, 6.5 assists. Getting ready for All-Star Weekend, Ooh. the influx of work into Indianapolis. No, he don't do he, his, his father on the bench. He ain't got no work. I'm going to say lower. The reason I'm going to say lower is because I think they're going to smack the hell out of him. He ain't going to play towards the end of the game. Okay. <clears throat> I go higher. <clears throat> I'm going higher because they're too little. He, he, lunch meet out there. Y'all little, Cole Anthony and all y'all little, you little boys. And it'll be a close game. Okay. Because it's too... East matchups. Which where, where is Orlando right now? Uh, they are currently eighth, I believe. In the they didn't moved all the way down to eighth. They were sixth. They lost that game. They dropped down to eighth. Well, and he lower. played last night. That's what they yeah. played last night too. Lower. But Paolo Young, Franz Wagner Young, he got his little brother. Yeah. So you're going lower as well. Yeah. All right. So what about 6.5 assists for Jalen Brunson? Higher, higher, or lower? He is averaging 6.5 five, assists. Yeah. So you always do that. Underdog, stop doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take. I'm going to take the higher. I don't think 
I don't think he's going to go lower in bowls. I think, you know, it's going to get – the game is going to be such a blowout early. They'll be smacking him. He'll just be distributing the yeah, ball. Yeah, so I'm going to take him higher on that assist. Lower. He ain't passing shit. Whatever gets <laughs> – No, no, no. It ain't, ain't got gut because I look at it different. Like, I see where he's saying if he, he going to go lower on both. But I just – watching Brunson, he's not a willing passer. He's not passing. He's going to score. He's scoring. Get he ain't thinking about it. Lexi, Jalen Brunson, 6.5 assists, higher or lower? Mm, I'm going to go lower. Okay. I'm saying lower on both. Lower on both? I think he's going to be... I don't know if chilling is, is the right word, but yeah, it's back-to-back. Is he, to back is he already Orlando. mentally in Indianapolis? He's going to them, and he's getting ready for All-Star. Oh, wait, no, they're going to be in New York, right? No, they are in Orlando. So Orlando has a back-to-back -back in Orlando? Yeah. yeah. So they, they both do that. are on back-to-backs. They do that. Oh, they do that? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Okay. Okay. You ain't seen the Lakers back-to-back? -back? The Lakers, Lakers back to back Oh, it's like the Spurs, right? LeBron said, I, I'm not fucking with y'all tonight. Did we do that? No. Did we play like that? Did we play like that? Spurs? I don't no. remember. They did that in, I think they did in San Antonio and they tricked one of those games because I think AD and LeBron split up who was going to play. Uh-huh. It may come back to hurt us, but that, the game is the game. Uh, Paolo Bancaro, 20.5 points, higher or lower. He's averaging 22.8 this Wait, who? season. Paolo, Paolo Bancaro. What, say it again? What, what is he going? He's averaging, uh, so 20.5 points, higher or lower. 20.5 is this higher or lower? He's averaging 22.8. How much he had last night? Higher. He's been playing well. That he delivered Tibbs for me last night. Uh, 22, he's this. averaging 22. Tibbs defense. You came through for me last night, and I appreciate you, my friend. And uh, OG ain't, ain't playing. So they ain't really got nobody that's going to guard him like that. 23 last night. And he had 10 assists last night, so he not passing. Masterful he's not performance. Passing tonight. No, he not passing. He's going to get I, I wanna score. Know, I want to know what the rest of his stats are. But, um, and he all time but, all star it, for the first time. He got all the season. No, 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 no. I know what it's, I'm just talking about. Does he have any other extra things that we can take besides the points? Oh, we uh, we will get to that. So pass I'm gonna pass. All right. So we also have Paolo at 27.5 points and rebounds combined. I'll take that. 22.8 points per game this season. 6.9 rebounds per what's, game this season. Wait, what's that number? Uh, 27.5. 27? Oh, yeah. that's a good one. I know, that's what's at 27. But just points and rebounds? Yeah, he's basically like 29.7. Nah, because he's not oh, rebounding like that. No, he's having about eight, 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 seven rebounds. Twenty-seven. He, 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 really huh? yeah, yeah. he, he don't really be, huh? Yeah, yeah. He don't really. Yeah, he don't really. How much? Twenty-seven. He's but doing about twenty. and rebounds. 20, he's averaging about twenty-three. So if he go for so twenty-five he and seven, he get a lot of points and get a few rebounds. rebounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm gonna just take that. I love the combos because if they just start killing on him, like Steph would do that a lot. He'll just start killing oh, yeah. on the points. Oh, he's got about the other shit. He just got to win points, Steph. God bless you. Um, and then last for Paolo. 0.5 double double. So will he have a double double or not? There is a 1.75 times multiplier yeah, on that. Nah, man. Spicy there. pick. If the multiplier is there, they got a chance to get Spicy pick. pick. Just give us yeah. so we can say no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, Jill. Give me the spicer on the lower. Like, though. I see what they're doing, lower. man. When, when they know it's a guarantee, you know they hit it with the spicy. Mm -hmm. They throw the little hot sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to Spurs at Mavericks. We got Luka Doncic. 32.5 points, higher or lower. He's averaging 34.3 points. Against, against who? The Spurs. He's averaging 34 No, points. lower. What? You think it's Fugue? Blow out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah blow out. It, but he's the he, type to understand the blowout. He he he'll get the 30. He'll get the 30 early. He, 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 he will. will. I fucking hate Luca because he will go out there and get 30 and a half <laughs> like, and sit the rest of the game. And then it's like three third quarter, five minutes left. He's yeah. got 42 points. Luca also <laughs> seems like the smart type to me. Like, we know we're going to beat him. Let's just keep it within reason so I can keep cooking. So I can keep cooking, keep right? Cooking. But then Kyrie yeah. there. And because he's, I'm no, going to yeah. go lower on this. Yeah, these the but these are the teams you get your points on. Yeah. So then there wouldn't be out there. Yeah. Wimby might keep it close. So we'll go 51.5 points, rebounds, and assists combined. Higher or lower. Uh, for reference, he's averaging 34.3 points per game, 8.8 .8 rebounds per game, 9.6 assists per game, has 10 triple doubles this season. Lower. Third in the NBA behind Sabonis. He said it's going to be a blowout. 51.5 points, rebounds, and assists. That's 30, 10, and 10. Mm, yeah, lower. <sighs> 30, 10, and 10. 30, 10, and 10. Or 40, 30, 40, 30, 10, and 5. Wait, 30, 10, and 10? So 30, 10, now you still need, he need 32, 10, and 10. Yeah, lower. Damn. But see, you do crazy. that, and then you fuck around. Like y'all said, half time, you have about 44 and 7. But he only have time to do that with teams that are in the game. But if we get to halftime, we're going to still let him play. We got All-Star Weekend coming up. Let me cut. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Uh, chat, higher. 
Lower, lower. Damn, lower. <laughs> <laughs> lower. It's a lot of lowers listen, in the chat. I'm following the chat, baby. We going lower. Oh, lower, yeah. So, Luke has 10 triple doubles this season, like I mentioned, third in the league. Uh, 0.5 triple doubles. There's a 1.5 times multiplier, higher or lower. He getting 80 points tonight, man. Someone said he getting 80 tonight. Damn, oh. damn, Major P. I'm going higher then. <laughs> what was that? Will Luca have a triple double tonight? Not higher, waste lower, 0.5 triple first. doubles. He's got 10 this season. Is there? Is that spicy? It's, it's yeah. spicy. I'm, oh, oh then I'm going lower because if they put double? the spicy on it, oh no. Because he still could get a triple double with. Like, they put the jalapeno. He can get the 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going higher. They he put, might get one. They put it spicy. There, they put jalapeno. Around, throw some. He gonna have yeah. twelve assists. Just Spurs are that bad. They though. put they jalapeno peppers bad. on it. They're bad. You'll get some rebounds. <laughs> and next, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Spicy. We got Kyrie Irving, uh, twenty-six point five points higher or lower. He's averaging twenty-five point two this season. Kyrie needs to cook. Let that man cook. Lower. You said lower, Rashad. Lower. Like, lower than what? Twenty-six point five points yeah, higher. Yeah, lower. Than. They good. 26.5. If, if they're blowing them out, that means them two are scoring real quick, though. Yeah, but... I, or they or playing good name? together. Or Tim Hardaway over there. <laughs> Tim Hardaway getting his 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what y'all... Who was the two? Uh, like P.J. The Washington? He might the one that gets the 30 ball tonight. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and P.J. Mm, God. I pass. Good job, man. <laughs> I don't like that one. So, so you don't always... And that's the thing for you guys at home that use underdog pass fantasy. Too. I feel like you Sometimes it feels real pass. tempting, but... <laughs> hey, ooh, hey that's pass. it. Because I'll be tempted, like, uh, should I... I'm like, no, I, it's a bunch of motherfuckers who might not even play tonight, and I can... But what hurts is when you pass, like, you, you might... You I'm not rocking with... And now he might have mm -hmm. 20 in the first quarter. You see it. Like, all right, bro. All right, that's what we on today. So Kyrie, 6.0 assists, higher or lower. He's averaging five or 5.4 assists per game this season. I'm going lower. 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 Yeah. And last but not least, two and a half three pointers made, higher or lower. He's averaging 2.9 three pointers made this season. I feel like that's one I could potentially go higher because I just like one. Anything that you can do in the first quarter is ones that I'm running. No, you can give me at least two in the first quarter. Like anyone you He's can, two and a half? Yeah. But any, anything that you can accomplish Spurs. in one quarter of basketball, I'm generally rolling with. But, but the Spurs, you got to look at all right, they're not going to play one on one, they're going to play a zone. You yeah. know? They play zone? They're yeah, gonna play the zone. I, I take the higher then. And that's how I look at defenses against certain teams. I'm like, oh, they don't, they like to play zone. Mm -hmm. Pelicans, certain teams, it's like, y'all motherfuckers don't like to play one on one. They give us some threes. Lexi, two and a half threes? Lower. Ooh. Mm. Mm. I feel like they're gonna have lazy closeouts. He's just gonna. Drive it. Fair. Fair assessment. Night. Fair. Okay. Yeah. They'd be like, skip, skip closing out. Yeah, so <laughs> Wimby, last but not least in this game, 22.5 points higher or lower. He's averaging 20.4, 10 rebounds in an NBA 3.2. I, th I think Wimby. I'm going win. higher. Yeah, Wimby said, fuck y'all. Wimby might have to oh, fuck around drop know. another triple double just to let yeah, y'all they, 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 they got a small lineup, man. They're going to be throwing the ball over the top for them. We will hope. I, they should. Lose the circulation in my neck. Uh, you said 22? 22.5 points higher or lower? I'm going to go lower. Okay. And Lexi? Higher. Okay. Uh, 10.0 rebounds, higher or lower? He's averaging 10.1. Higher. Higher. Second chance points. <laughs> mm, yeah. We'll do, we, do we all become best friends? <laughs> 2.5 blocks, higher or lower? He's averaging 3.2. He just legally. have 10 the other night. That's higher. How they, higher, higher, <laughs> higher. See, I'm gonna go. I'll go lower on that one just because that's how they get you. you uh, but then again, I did AD last but night. But he at least got to give us four, bro. Yeah, you're right. Like, you right. Give, I mean, gotta give us yeah. four. I did AD last night. He had like three in the first part. Like yes, insane, Anthony. Bro. Yes, Anthony. Um, so ooh, this is even better. Three point five blocks and steals combined, higher or lower. He's higher. averaging one point one steals a game. What oh, one point one. So three point five blocks and steals. Yes, higher. Higher. Who? Uh, Wimby. I'm gonna take that bet. What did you say? What? Three point five blocks and steals combined. Combined? Yeah, I'm gonna go higher. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna He's take that bet. That's I mean, a I'm great bet. I'm merely a, a host. Yeah, you just hit him at four blocks. So yeah. yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love when it's more things they can do because you just that might be a steal. Yeah, Last but not least, we have uh, Clippers who are a few men down uh, versus the Warriors tonight. <laughs> who they down? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the Two players that won't uh, that won't have one of those. They ain't never on that. They ain't never on that. <laughs> take the lower. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Steph Curry, 28.5 points higher or lower. He's averaging 28 points per game this season. Are they playing the Clippers? Lower. They're playing the Clippers. Lower. Lower. Damn, Steph lower than 28 points? Nah, I'm going to go higher. Lower. Mm. I'm going to go higher. It can't go off, Steph. 
He might Zubac. Have, that's Zubac. He has to cook them. See, that's what people be getting twisted. You think that Kawhi and PG gonna be on him the whole game? Pick and roll switch. Step back. Three. That's not, that's Lexi, good. you said. Uh, I still say lower. <laughs> say lower. Now that's right. good. I, I like that, but it's lower. Thirty-three point five points and assists. He's averaging twenty-eight points per game. Four point nine assists per game. Lower. 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 Steph, Steph, I hope you're watching. I'm saying higher on all of it. I know you ain't passing. Okay. Who you got to pass to? What? Yeah, who you got? Yeah, that's who he passes to. <laughs> 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 Shit. Shit. By the time Kamiga shoot, he done dribble four times and come pump yeah, fake. Yeah, he gonna get that bucket. Just... I, I just feel like Steph's gonna go for 35. He's gonna take like 23s just to send a message. I don't think they're gonna Probably. get that many off. They you don't think so? They didn't name him a starter in the All-Star game, so oh. somebody gonna have to pay for this. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And they not locking, they not, hey, the Clippers are not locking motherfuckers down. They not no. letting him get off. And the 5.5 three-pointers made higher or lower? 5.5? He's averaging yeah. five three Lower. Ooh, okay. Lower. He definitely not hitting six tonight. But you have him... But you have him all them scoring on the damn points. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Because yeah, they're going to run him off the line. He not scoring all them... <laughs> he not scoring all them two. Middies? You got no. middies? You got floaters? Yeah, yeah. Over, like 20 so he got layups? No. Free throws? Hell no. If he doesn't make at least six three. Five. Five? That's 15. But see, got 15 I, points. Score 15 I'll, I'll do the higher on Steph's bounce, threes, and then he want to drive it to the best. Hell no. <laughs> yes, free throws, layups. I got him making those threes, but I don't have them. I got him, for, else. I got him for two layups. I mean, two free throws. <laughs> yeah, I got him making all them threes, and that's it. So Steph has 20 games this season with six or more threes. That's crazy. But that's like, you take that well, higher, half, he'll so start driving. I'm like, all right, now, now you want to drive yeah, to the I'll, best. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm passing. Telling him. All right, Draymond Green, 8.5 points, higher or lower. He's averaging 9.2 points per game this season. I feel like Dre's fired yeah, up. Yeah, he, he fired up. He I'm, giving him, I'm giving him, I'm giving him, you said what? Uh, 8.5 points, higher or lower. And that's five baskets. Give me the high on Dre. Yeah, I'm gonna take the higher. I'm gonna Will take the higher. Because if they stop, if they stop, a lot of free throws. No, no, you don't get fouled. They don't shoot free throws. Free throws no, right? none of them really do. Five baskets. Yeah, you come out the game if you foul Dre. I'm saying lower. <laughs> nah, because if if, if <laughs> what the fuck is you fouling Steph, him for? <laughs> if Steph is getting stopped, he's passing to Dre. Dre gonna drive in. He can't pass to Clay. Clay's still in La La Land, so he gonna have to go in for that layup. Clay going for at least twenty tonight. Yeah, if he he plays. I mean, if they got Steph, he just have a good game. Who? Clay. We don't know. Like thirty. The other day. Did he? Yeah, 30? Yeah. Huh. I'm going lower. I'm going lower on Dre. I'm going lower on Dre for sure. Me too. All right, Draymond. Put it like that. Five baskets. I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Draymond. <laughs> 6.5 assists, higher or lower? Higher. I'm going lower now. I go higher on He that. ain't got nobody passes to no more. Yes, he does. Bro, it's been, it's, been it's been they weird. It's been weird. They cut all their wingmans out. <laughs> he ain't good for the run. And then seven rebounds. No more. Seven rebounds higher or lower. He's averaging 6.6 .6 rebounds per game. I'm taking him higher on the rebounds okay. against the small team. Yeah, lower rebounds. Zoo box. All right, let's lower. go to Paul George. 25.5 points higher or lower. He's averaging 22.4 this season. Who's guarding, Who's guarding PG? Kaminga. Oh, man. Oh, Clay a guard. Kawhi. Shit. I'm only picking higher on one of them. PG being erratic a little bit, man. I'm going to go lower. I'm going to go lower, and if Kawhi has one, I'm going higher. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, norm I'm normally roll with Kaminga ever since the haircut. He's been delivering. <laughs> uh, but back to PG. Yeah, did you give us your pick? Yeah, I said pass. Okay. That's three passes. Huh? No more passes. Huh? No yeah. more. I'm trying to yeah, get a triple-double. <laughs> P PG, 1.5 steals, higher or lower? 1.5 steals, I, higher or lower? They be lower. turning that shit over. Oh, yeah, lower. they be turning that shit over. They be they turning that, if he not, if he not, yeah, he not guarding stuff, he might get one or two. But he always gets stuck on one. You know what? I pick I'm, him I'm going to take, I'm gonna take PG, one. I'm going to take PG higher. Okay. On steals? Uh, yeah. No, points. Points, okay. Uh, I'm going higher with steals. He's averaging 1.6 steals per game. And then last but not least... I just want the points. I can get rid of the steals. I'm going to pass on the steals. Too late, go. Uh, <laughs> it's already been submitted. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, James Harden, 20.5 points, higher or lower. He's averaging 17.3 points per game. Higher. But you know Harden could go do his duck this one. Lower. Ooh. Lower. Lower. Team win. All right. <laughs> yeah, after their last loss, they got to homeboy not with him. His homeboy not with him. Oh, yeah, he about to get loose then. He about to get loose. Hard nine assists, higher or lower. He's averaging 8.4 assists per game. Lower. 8.4? Yep. Lower. Yep. Higher. Lower. He's going to have a good assist game today, especially if PG get hot. All right. Well, that 
just about does it for higher or lower. Make sure, again, you download the Underdog Fantasy app, use promo code GILL, they will match your first deposit up to $100. Great way to spend your Valentine's Day eating Applebee's at the crib, getting it postmated while watching basketball, doing higher or lower pickups on Underdog Fantasy. I guess who's the holy not trinity. going to Applebee's. What you mean? The holy trinity. Called the fettuccine alfredo with broccoli. You're not going we'll to. see how you guys did uh, on the show tomorrow. Now let's move on to Mostly Fans. Yeah, I know. That's why you no, did that. Remember, you was ready to push the button. Oh, like, yeah. Not yet. Not yet, girl. Not yet. Remember how you was messing with me yesterday, Gil? Now we are not leaving. <laughs> we, we will be here all night. We're going to be like the kick streamers. We're going 15 straight hours. Damn. Mm. So our first question. Video. Oh, no, I'm just reading the name to make sure this shit uh, it looked a little sneaky. First question is a video <laughs> question from underdog user Odd Peeb. What's good, Gil Zarina? Let me know who y'all think was the better kingpin at their peak. Was it Ghost from Power, Franklin from Snowfall, or Walter White from Breaking Bad? Let me know. Ooh, that's a good question. Best kingpin at their peak, Ghost from Power, Franklin from Snowfall, Walter White from Breaking Bad. At their peak? <laughs> I didn't watch Breaking Bad. I, I got bored after the first season. They said the first season is <coughs> Yeah, and then I that little Spanish black dude came in. What was his name, Gus? That's when it got active? What? Okay, so I got to watch. Yeah. Um, I will say. Ghost is last. Excuse me? Excuse me? At his peak was when he started messing up the most. Huh? Ghost is last. First, first of all, first of all, Ghost does his dirt all by his lonely. No, I no, go. You got Tommy. I, no, 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 no. Tommy, we about to go get this nigga. We Ghost about to. Blast. Tommy, if you don't get your shit together. Mm mm. Ghost I, glass. You know, I, I would see. I would go. The the reason I would go Ghost over Franklin is Ghost was the 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 penthouse level of a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Franklin was still a street... He was smart as hell, but he was a street dude. We know what that looks like. Mm -hmm. When we seen Ghost, that was really just, just for the black community, the next level of what it is, right? We're used to the, the big meeches and all that. We know what that looks like. We know what the... We didn't know what sophisticated looked like. So I guess we didn't know what a dude that when can... When Power started, yes, I put Ghost at the top. But as a show continued then he started mm -mm. no yes. legs like listen an angela, legs. Bro. no like no no, 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 no. that money look. but doesn't know how to clean that that's money, what i'm saying how to yes, look okay, like I'm a saying, corporate okay, dude so like we went one. to a whole nother right, level but, we, but like the thing about breaking bad and snowfall is we watched them get there in power he was already there no yes he started in the first episode he, already, he went to the he went to the basement he's like we gotta kill this motherfucker. Yeah, but he already had. He was already in the penthouse. He already was. A, he already had the club. I was, like I was, was disappointed. But that's the first episode. But, that's what, but the other two shows, they was started from nothing, and then but we. But they saw never the got them. there. They never got to the Franklin penthouse. Franklin did. No. No, he, but that's what I'm saying. But he got to the nonprofit. It was the first time we <laughs> got to the nonprofit. This motherfucker made it to the DOJ. He was the Democratic nominee. Yeah, that's what I, Facts, I look at that. Politics. I'm looking at, like, that's what I'm what? saying. I'm, I'm looking <laughs> at, FBI like. FBI agent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This hey, nigga showed up like, hey, yeah, okay. he's our guy. You better go get the fuck but away from our guy. But that's what I said. We, 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 we've seen the wire in those. We've seen the grind from small time to the big time. we never seen someone that was already, already established yeah. clubbing and all that and kind of clean the money. It's like, oh. Okay, this is different. Man, that man went all the way to Miami to get a hit off by that's, himself. That's true. But I got to go kill this bitch, man. Let me go. I got to go do all this. Right. See, that's, she said, all I'm just right. a little biased because I don't like him and Angela's little. Oh, yes. But talk, but talk. Come on, look. That's, that's, but, you was but, watching but, all them sex scenes. You was watching that was shit, man. I mean, come on, look. Tasha you, was the worst. He's sleeping with SBA. He, FBI, That's the other right. one sleeping with the next door neighbor. Look, I got but, an inform. I, I got the plug. But he didn't, yeah, he didn't know though. I got the plug. Got she the, is my inside. I got the next door neighbor though, <laughs> and she didn't even know I was me until I told her. Bex. Okay, all right, Ghost. Okay. Even though he got killed by his own kid. 
Mm-hmm. That's a setup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> set, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry if nobody it's the, power. They're <laughs> well versed on power. They are. They said it every episode. Tyreek, a badass kid anyway. Oh, he got on my nerves. Fucking he Tyreek. Made me stop watching that Fuckin damn Tyreke. show. He's he been bad all his life, though. Yeah. Every oh movie he's been in, Tyreek is bad as fuck. As we, we need a bad little asshole kid. <laughs> <laughs> Tyreek. Hey, We're going to name him Tyreek. We need a little asshole kid. Pick him. Tyreek is his name. All right, our next question is a video from a person who does not have underdog fantasy and does not want to make $100. Damn. So, okay. So, who would you rather take in a seven-game series? The 2012 OKC Thunder but add Shea and Chet or the 2013 Los Angeles Clippers but add PG and Kawhi? And why? Mm. So, 2012... I'm out of Shea anyway. <laughs> I'm taking... Wait, was Shea... Shea wasn't on that team. He wasn't Shea... 2012 OKC. Uh, yeah, but Shea wasn't, yeah. Shea wasn't on Clippers in 2013. Nah. No, Shea wasn't even in the NBA. So 2012 Thunder. Oh, so we'll pick, yeah. we'll pick uh, Shea and pick Chet, which is still with, peak. With uh, Harden, Westbrook, and KD? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Harden, Westbrook, KD. Or Clippers, uh, what happened? Umbaka, and then Tobias, I mean... Uh, Tefalosha. Uh, Tefalosha. Was Perk on that team? Or 2013 Perk? Clippers, no. but add PG and Kawhi. Who was on that Eric team? Eric Fisher was on that CP, team. Blake. Blake. Yeah, and who am who we at? JJ Riddick, we're at Jamal Crawford. Oh, Ooh, that's damn. That's mm, a, nah, still Kawhi, PG, Blake Griffin. Oh, P, oh you got PG? Yeah, yeah, PG thirteen. Mm. So at the point, point, I got Russell and Shea at the one two. Um, you got CP. You oh, got K- KD. Yeah, who's coming off KD the bench? KD at the three. JJ's coming off the bench. Um, no, who's coming off the bench at OKC? It would have been. Harden still. Shy. Harden or Sh- Shea? No, Harden. Shea. No, Harden because he's a six man have... anyway. But Shea still oh. off the bench too because it's Russ. Now nah, I put Russ, him and Russ, Russ at the one at too. The one too. No way. Shea need a ball in his hands though, no so way. I don't know. Nah, he can run a second unit. Shea? We need a second yeah, unit. Yeah, that's why James Harden was just a, a, he was coming off the bench. Who was the two then? Was that Robeson? Was that? It's Chevalosa. Chevalosa was a two. Damn, all right, I might have two. changed my mind then. Robeson wasn't there yet. Oh, because I just don't think that the Ibaka was the five. Uh, Perkins. Perk. Nick Collinson. Perkins. No, uh, Nick was second unit. Perk at the. Mm. Ibaka, Ibaka, Perk. Ibaka, Perk, KD, Ibaka, Harden. Ibaka, Perk, KD. Chefalosa, and Westbrook. And Westbrook. With Harden off the bench. And Ooh, then, so basically so the people we. Harden, so Shea, the, so Chet. Chet, Shea, and Harden is coming off the bench? No, I could start Shea. I mean, Chet. I start Chet over, 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 over uh, Perk. I'm not starting a rookie over Perk. Yeah, I am. Mm. I mean, I and you see, I see Matt Zach. Perk game, Perk, what did Perk give you? Perk gave you nothing but fouls. Perk, Perk, uh, four point seven points per game, six point two rebounds. Yeah, come on, Chet. Six minutes. Come on, Chet. You give us fouls off the bench, this is big the fella. Season. Ibaka giving us good, you know, good defense. Jump shot. I mean, uh, uh, and then who's on, on the, the bench on the Clippers? I mean, like no one, because you're gonna have to sub those guys in as starters. Who's well, yeah, you're going to have to they start. They're going to put J.J. on the bench. J.J. on the bench. Who was the... the uh, so you got Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, Matt Barnes, Jamal Crawford, Karan Butler, Eric Bledsoe, Chauncey Billups was on that team. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going with OKC. Okay, <laughs> I'm going with OKC. Okay, they ain't got nobody to... They got come. vets. Oh, they got vets. They, ah, no, they keep got going. Vets. Give me more. Hold on. But DeAndre who was starting? in the postseason only played 24 minutes, average four points. It was CP, J.J., who was the three? So, so it'll be CP, Paul George, Kawhi. Yep. Blake, Blake Griffin, Griffin and DeAndre. DeAndre. Oh, DeAndre with, wasn't, wasn't playing that much at that point. That's a starter. Yeah, we're talking about the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you coming okay. off the bench with Jamal Crawford. J.J. Reddick. J.J. Reddick. Wait, Paul Pierce. On. Is that Paul Pierce? No. J.J. Reddick is not on this team. On the 2013? Oh, not in the playoffs. 2013, what team is that? Yeah, what team is it? So you got oh. Willie Green, Matt Grant Barnes, Hill, Willie Matt Green. Barnes. The oh, little old Jones, the old Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going after OKC. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. thought that was the JJ, the JJ yeah. and them. OKC. Okay, that wasn't yeah. Lob City yet, was it? Nah, not yet. That was it was Lob. It was. It was if DeAndre was wasn't playing City. yet, it wasn't really Lob City yet. It Lobster. Was Lobster. <laughs> yeah, it was Crab City. <laughs> crab City. Lobster. Crab City. <laughs> <laughs> not just yeah. r- regular food crab in the ocean. Look, 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 look. I have to go. I have to. We have to move around. It wasn't really. It wasn't. Yeah, it was. 
It wasn't crab. It was what was the crawfish? Crawfish. It was crawfish. It was those good. are like little sea roaches. I yeah, that's what I said. It was, uh, crawfish. I don't know it was crawfish. how people be. You yeah, like those little seafood bags? Them crawfish clippers. <laughs> you like them? Uh, it looked like little roaches. Yeah, I don't know. Disgusting. But we got some unfortunate news to announce in the arena. Alexi, this is your last day for oh, your few like, weeks. What happened? As you oh. start your Athletes Unlimited season, Yay. we look forward to you getting some buckets. We got to. You said we never give you anything, so we had to give you a present as well. Oh, thank you. Y'all gonna miss me? Yes. We all project manage oh. this. Uh, Thanks, guys. To make it happen. No, I'm just kidding. We had nothing to do with it. Yeah, thank you. We had nothing to do with it. Yeah. And that's how but it y'all better tune in and watch me play. <laughs> we we First are. game the 28th. Where? Where? I don't know yet. I'll let you know. So. Oh, it is free on the WNBA app. So go download that shit. Okay. Because you're going to need it in the summer. In yeah, the we got that. Let me see. Is some work going to be there? Hey, hey. So I'm going to be on TV. Is some work going to be there? What? You know it. <laughs> you know it. That's the best place. What? That's the best place to go. <laughs> Shit. Dallas? Ladies and I'm gentlemen. A- I'm asking just for a friend. <laughs> Friends want to know. Shots. Friends want to know. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. It's another episode of Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa.